blind. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. But ye are a chosen generation, royal priesthood, you and holy nation, and peculiar people, that you should show for the friends. Of him who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Sing hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul. Hey now. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. 
Wanna thank you, Yahushua. Thanks, oh, see. Thank you, Father Yahuwah. Hallelujah. We love his family, our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A royal nation. Hallelujah. Have your will and your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are nothing Hallelujah. without you. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Father. Thank you for loving us. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you for protecting us. Hallelujah. That's Mother Waiters. Mm-hmm. And Elder Waiters, too. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Father. Bless each and every one of you, Abba, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. All praise and honor, glory be to you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. All praise and honor. All praises and Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 H
your name deserves a desire. We praise you upon the mountain top. We praise you out over the ocean and the sea. We praise you over the fields and the meadows. We praise you over all of your creation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. It is you the thunder roars. It is you the lightning flashes. It is you the hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. All praise and honor to you, Father. Hallelujah. Allow us to come into your throne room as your Hallelujah. 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 Bless this wonderful time. Hallelujah. Bless this Hallelujah. Bless everyone that's moved in and those that we listen on YouTube. We speak a blessing for those who are sincere and pure of heart and spirit as they speak the most. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking of you right now. Touch your household. Touch your relatives that are ill right now. And you have been praying for right now. There are people traveling among us going to see a loved one. Hallelujah. That is not well, Father, when they get to Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. We followed follow the worship all the way in and got an audience with our Father. Hallelujah. Yes, keep going. Yes. messages to you today about your uh, harassing of women and uh, dehumanizing them and abu uh, abusing them with your, your mouth and your fist and you call yourself uh, a woke a woke you're not a woke just because you have information about maybe some of your lineage doesn't that does not awaken you because the devil then he's awakened because he's been knowing it for a long so, this is the message for you. You are to stop mistreating y'all's women and girls. You who call yourself woke are asleep. You're dead to the spirit. You are not redeemed because of knowledge. Knowledge alone does not make you redeemed. Redeem takes place in the soul of a person, in the spirit of a person. You have to wake up internally, not with your intellect. It is way far beneath what Yah has for his people for you to be stuck on phonics. I serve you notice. Everything you put your hands to is going to crumble unless you repent. 
Hallelujah. Unless Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. Telling us lies about we are not the bride because we are women. Telling us lies that we have to sit and shut up in service and don't say anything when all through scripture, even Yahusha had women walking with him, talking with him, asking questions, being with him. And who are you to take place over his head to say what a woman can speak and then what a woman can do? Because some 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 Catholicism uh, uh, theologian, theologian, uh, put those verses the way they did to be misunderstood about a woman ministry. Because then that's the case that Yah has already broken his own commandments because he used women from Genesis to Revelation. And you are going to pay for your evil because you are not of Yah. You are Satan himself. Hallelujah. And you should know better with what we have been through as a people. You are no better than a mass on a plantation. You got the same spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're no different. Yeah. Hallelujah. If demising us can make you feel better, you're a sick puppet. That's right. And all the quotations you want to say does not take your guilt away. You are wrong. You are so wrong. If you don't get it right, you're going to hell. I pray you repent. Because I don't want to see any of us go to hell. You will not only go to hell, but you're going to be punished right here and now. If you don't repent. You take, you keep your hands off of the sisters. I mean, you hear me? Right. You take right. your right. hands off of our sisters. Right. Hallelujah. Take right. your mouth off of our sisters. That's right. Take your lies away from our sisters. Come on now. For Yah has spoken, he will judge you and that right early. And I stop there. I'm not letting you take the course that Yah set for us today. I serve you notice. Repent. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You ain't no better than a slave trader. You ain't no better than than a, than a transferring flesh through the earth. You're no better. A demonic. What you? What are you a work work from? Yeah. Not evil. Not wickedness. Then you're not a work. A, a demonic spirit. A demonic spirit. Right. Yah loves his dirty. all his people. Yes, he and he said, "Touch not mine." And, and do my prophets no harm. So y'all spreading a lie that a woman right, can't, right. can't said, prophesy. A woman got to shut up. A woman can't. Can, then you got to go to Yah because he's been using women to prophesy <laughs> ever since he put that on own paper that we do in the books. So you are already on. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. How Three dare you stand up in God's face and tell him who he can't use? That's right. He ain't using back, you. I can tell you that. He's not years. using you. Oh, come on. I said he's not using you. Right. The Satan is using you. The Nephilim, the equal evil spirits are using you. Um. You narcissist, you. You got issues mm -hmm. with yourself. It ain't the women. And if you don't get straight with God and repent, you're just as guilty as these Edomites out here that you keep trying to take what they're doing to us. Well, guess what? You didn't join ranks with them. Yep. You're no better. Yep. Don't you know we've suffered enough under the boot of our oppressors? Now you want to turn on the boot too? Mm -mm -mm. And think y'all don't see it and it's not going to punish you for that? If he's punishing them for doing what you're doing, come on. Don't you see it? Hallelujah. How are you going to punish them and not punish you? Amen. Then he owes them an apology. He's a just mm -hmm. yard. He's just. Yeah, that's right. about Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, I can't judge you. I'm pleased. I judge them. You think I'm not going to judge you? Judgment begins in the house of the most high. No respect to person. Yes. yes. And he has no respect to persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it or leave it, lump it or bump it. I really don't care. That's right. Because your soul ain't mine. But I, for, for the sake uh, uh, of humanity, uh, of on the Yahshualite side of the of the brook, I pray you get your act together soon, because you ain't got much time now. Tell us, sister. You are asking for uh, a damn damnable time of life 
while you're on the earth and after. You don't get that off of you because you are definitely need to be some somebody's deliverance service, getting some help. Hallelujah. Some of you are sick in the head, mm -hmm. but it's demons that are running you your life. And we're gonna talk about some of that today. So let's go. That's enough of that. Yeah. Hallelujah. All praises, all praises. And I do pray right now you have the spirit, the spirit of repentance can get some of you. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go to our notes. How we think. There you go, right there. <laughs> How you think constitutes our epitaph. Well, what does that mean? And I think you kind of understand it just by listening to it, but what is an epitaph? It is a statement of commemoration, things that you have done in mm -hmm. memorial, mm -hmm. things that people are going to remember about you and Yasha will remember, mm -hmm. uh-huh, of the time you spent here, how you lived, mm -hmm. and how you died. For as a tree falls, so mm -hmm. shall it rise. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a tree falls, it's going to rise the same, all right? So if you drop a big heavy tree and you decide to lift it, guess what? It's going to go straight back up the pattern that it fell. Mm -hmm. No change. So it is a statement of what you have done in your life. It's a statement of what you have left behind, who, your, your uh, uh, reputation, what you have done to others, good, bad, or indifferent. How you sold is how you're going to do it. For well, y'all said, I'm not a man that I should lie. And you're going to reap what you sow. All right. But we also have another message coming from here. And that is to help our people to understand the importance of the spirit that they have within them. And what it all kind of means. Not all at once. We're not going to get it all today. But we sure going to start. So let's go to our first page, Philippians 4, 8. Read our scripture. Um. Finally, brethren, whosoever, whatsoever things are true, underline that true because some people don't know true if you threw it at them and hit them in the head. It was a, it was a rock. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> can you mute everybody? Because there's a lot of background. Noise. Oh, I'm sorry. Can everybody mute yourselves for me? Everybody go and just mute. If not, I can do it for you. I did. Uh, I'll do. Okay, very good. Thank you all for your cooperation. Thank you, uh, Leslie. Um, let's go again, Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. Hmm. If there be any virtue, that's what you're looking for, value. And if there be any praise, think on these things. Keep your mind on Hallelujah. good things, not how to persecute women. Preach it, preach it. Keep your mind preach it. on good things. Preach it. Now I'm going to rewrite it. I gave you the full scripture, but I'm going to let it flow now for what y'all have given me an understanding to do. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if any virtue, any praise, keep these things on your mind or hearts. Take it out of all the uh, <laughs> ritter <-racker. laughs> And consonants and all the rest of it. This plain says, keep your mind on true, keep your mind on honest, keep your mind on pure, on just, lovely, good report. And if there's any value, if there's any praise, those are things you want to keep your mind on. All right? Mm -hmm. Psalms 5110. So anything that don't fit that criteria, resist it. So you can know your enemy. The word says resist the devil. Mm -hmm. And he will what? Flee. Mm -hmm. Take off. Why? Because remember, we, we studied that 
the demon, Satan himself, they have been given law too. When my people are doing what I've called them to do, you take your, you you see them come and go the other way. So you don't have to go running after them and fighting demons and carrying them. No, you resist them by <laughs> keep going and doing the will of the most high. That's what you do. Psalms 51.10. Create in me a pure heart, O oh Yah, and renew a right spirit within me. Where is the spirit? It's within you. You have a spirit within you. Uh -huh. Yah has created a what? A clean or pure heart in us. Or a, we're going to get into more detail about this heart. I don't want to give it away. So I'm sorry to give you some information. Let's just move on. So who does the creating? Yeah. All right. Who makes us holy? Yeah. Who creates a clean spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Yah does. Holy. All right. <laughs> or the thing you create is false. Yes. You looking like you holy, you pretending you holy, you, you trying your best to be holy, you ain't holy, okay? That don't make you holy. Yah has to make you holy. Yah has to create a clean heart in us. You hear? You can't create it. You can't learn enough to create it. You can't be enough to create it. You can't, you can't, you can burn yourself with ashes. You can burn yourself with embers, but you can't do it. <clears throat> Psalms 40 and 8. I delight to do thy will. Oh, Maya. I love that. Ownership. Yeah. <laughs> I just said it. he's yeah. our y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And, hey, and we don't apologize. <clears throat> yes, thy law is within where? Here we go again. Put it in the heart. That's where so it is. So it is a part of who you are. It, you're doing it because it's the natural. You when you, when I was telling my husband today uh, this morning. I said when you uh, uh, are sleeping in the middle of the night, you think you know in the morning I'm gonna have to get up and and uh, go to the restroom. But if you don't have to go to the restroom at that moment, what are you doing? Saying okay, when I get up, I'm gonna go. Doesn't make no sense. It's natural when you get up, you need to go. You just go. <laughs> Is that what you do? Do you lay awake all night talking about discussing uh, when we get ready to go to the restroom? No. But when you, you have the need, you just go. Well, when you have the spirit of, of Yah, yeah, when you have the spirit of Yah, you don't have to stop and ask and think on things. But when you do it to act or move, you're right in. Uh, 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 yeah, in tune with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that's what it is. See? Uh, that's what it is. That's because it's, un I hate to use the word, but it's the best way I can say it. It's a natural phenomenon mm -hmm. right. when your mind is pure and renewed. See, that's a mm -hmm. lot of things people are, can't get y'all to communicate with them. And we're going to talk about that because of the state of their spirit. The state mm -hmm. of their spirit. Yes, yes. Remember that state yeah. of spirit, state of mind. Spirit. You hear me? What is this? Well, they have somebody come. What is this? What was the state of her mind when she came in here screaming like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, she was all over the place and she was upset. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, how many people ask, what was the state of her spirit mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when she came in here? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the state of your spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 5 8, blessed are the pure in heart. Again, I want to keep emphasizing this because you're going to see why in a minute. That's why this is the word that Yah is saying goes along with examine yourself to see if you be in the faith. He's not looking for you to examine the things you do. He's looking at how you respond to your uh, outside stimuli when it happens. See, uh, what provokes you? What moves you? What stirs you? That's dealing with spirit. Okay. Uh, for they will see Yah. So if you keep your, Yah has cleansed you by his blood, but it's up to you to make sure any little speck that comes along and gets there, you got to get it out right away. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't host that thing. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes a sin for you. Now it's a whole nother, another ball game. So it's not a sin to be tempted. Mm -hmm. It's when you yield, yield to, to temptation. the temptation and, uh, and the, how you don't yield when it comes as a temptation, you, you, you chop it off. Right, chop the head off of it. You don't sit the there and babysit the thing. Amen. 
and make excuses for it. Because then pretty soon it's just like a circle. It'll reach up and touch you. Put that poison in you. And so people that do this dastardly things have thought on that thing for a while. And then one day they got the nerve to go do it. Hebrews 10, 22. <clears throat> Let us draw near. Would you go in the kitchen and get me a lemon off the shelf there over the sink? Mm -hmm. Cut it in half and bring it here so I can suck on that mm -hmm. lemon a little bit and get this clean. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. It ain't going nowhere. All right. Um, right up there by the window, honey. In the window. Right this way. Not the cabinet, sweetie. Not this way. This way. The, the window. window. Right there. Over the seat. <laughs> All right. He's got it. All right. Hebrews, okay, uh, 10, 22. Let us draw near with the what? A true heart is the same heart. thing as saying pure. It's, pure it's the same thing. Yeah. True and pure. Pure mm -hmm. means true. True means pure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, heart in full assurance. That's one thing that peace at, uh, of the true heart will bring to you, a, a feeling of, of, of assurance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, you're not all over the place no more like you mm -hmm. used to be. You're, you're stabilizing yourself. You see? And you kind of know who you are, where you're going, and what's going on. And you're not uh, uh, tossed and driven by every wind, the doctrine that comes along, and, and getting upset about every little word that may not be in your favor, you know, and getting all upset and crying the blues all night. Well, that's over. Because, see, it's too late now. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. You can call me anything but a child of God, but, honey, I know who I am. So, yeah, you, I, that's what I say. You're not bothering me when you try to insult me. What you're going to do is hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. See, you're going to hurt yourself. And I just happen to be a person that cares about you. And I hate to see you hurt yourself, but you know what? Sometimes you can't stop people from hurting themselves. You can tell them and warn them, show them a, the light of truth, and they don't, they don't listen. They just run right through the stoplight. And crash, and then you can do it. All right. Full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from what? What we used to have an evil conscience, a selfish conscience, looking out for me, 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 me. I, 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 I. One day, uh, my, my, the king, I won't call start calling me. Y'all let me know the other day. He said, Capital L, little O, little R, and D. You know, that the big L is capital. And then they have the big O, I mean, the capital O and RD. All right. That's the most high Yahuwah. You showed me yesterday, today, what's the morning? That little L, he said they took King out of there. Actually, he's talking about King. Watch when you put King there and see what you get. I had a master, I was using master, and he had me go take it out and put, no, King. They, the king, the King James, all they didn't want King in there. Them popes and them, they didn't want King in there. But when you see big L, little O, R, D equals K, capital K, I, N, J. So when you call him L O R D, say King. Watch what it does to you and for you. Awesome. Thank you so much, you two. It's might, but it's right. All right. So, being purified, what's the word? Purified by the washing of the word of Yah. Yah had me, as you see below, write it a little differently. That's why I put them both here, so you don't think I'm trying to mess with the word. Everybody, oh, I don't mess the word. I mean, the one tittle, one diddle, one. <laughs> and they've been messing with your word for you for centuries. But the spirit makes it clear <laughs> what he's talking about. So I just replaced what? And our bodies washed with pure water. What has bo washed bodies got to do with a pure heart? <laughs> well, Tell me. Nothing. This is man's. This sounds like Catholicism to me. Yeah, they believe in that sprinkling stuff. See, mm -hmm. listen to this again, please. Very important. Let's read it the way y'all gave it. Because I took out and I replaced this, our bodies washed with pure water. What did I say instead? Listen to me. Oh, now she's rewriting the word. No, I'm mm -hmm. not. I'm making it plain. 
Now listen to this. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts, there's that sprinkle. I told you about them folks and them sprinkles. Who did I tell you that was? Yah is plotting them out right now. He said he's going to reveal those things that were, were, that wouldn't have been even a word y'all would have used. Sprinkle. All right. So we just, we left that there for now. Let's just leave it. Sprinkle from an evil conscience. You can't use water to wash your evil conscience away. Amen. Right. What is H2O going to do for your conscience? You can throw you in a swimming pool <laughs> and you still going to come out the devil you went into the swimming pool as. Okay? It ain't going to do you no good. You could even have a prayer over the water. Then throw you in. You're still coming up a devil. Because your spirit ain't right. All right? So sprinkle from an evil conscience being purified. And this is what y'all showed me. Being purified by the washing of the word of God. Amen. Now that makes more Amen. sense. So I didn't plagiarize. I put down here. This is what I replaced. <laughs> and our bodies, 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 bodies washed with pure water. It's not the water that's worth <laughs> pure. It's your spirit. Amen. You see how they, they flabbergasted that? You see the importance of understanding it through the eyes of the spirit, because that is, is, is well, as long as I got baptized, I'm, I, I, my sins are washed away because I got dumped in the water. Mm -hmm. No, your sins came up with you when you came up. Because your mind wasn't right. Your heart wasn't right. Your, your mind got to be pure. That water don't mean nothing but your impure mind. You hear what I'm saying? All right. If, I, if, if water would save somebody, I'd go out there and get a stray dog and throw him in there and he'd be saved too. It don't make no sense with that, that doctrine. It's a false doctrine. Baptizing in water don't save nobody. And I already showed you there's only one baptism. After John's baptism of repentance, came the baptism of fire that Yahushua sent by the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Let's go to Ephesians uh, 5.28. That he might sanctify and cleanse by washing of the word. Well, let's see what I replaced. Okay. I tell on myself. <laughs> I replaced it, uh, it with the washing of water by the word. Now, what is that? You see? It's the word that really is the water. So why have to say, why would you have to say water? Mm -hmm. If the word is the word, and you're saying using water to, 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 to explain the word, why don't just move the water out the way and just say the word? Mm -hmm. Oh, true. come on. Come on, elect to the most high. Mm -hmm. You know, the spirit of, of the most high is in you. Mm -hmm. And he is witnessing everything that's being said to you. And he is giving you confirmation by his spirit, not by yeah, some person. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on. Proverbs 29 and 9. Uh, who can say, I have made my heart clean? And we're just got to talking about that. If you're trying, you might as well give it up because mm -hmm. you can't do it. Or I am pure from my sin. Who can say that? Mm -hmm. Somebody. Maybe they're not all there. I don't know, but you are lack of understanding. Some people think they can work their way to things. Well, that's what religion is. Religion works your way to your God. Mm -hmm. But faith in Yah allows his presence to work his will in our lives. The big difference. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's look at uh, Psalm 73. One, truly Yah is good to Yasserel. Can we get a I mean on that? Amen, amen, amen. Even to such as are what? Of a what? Now, wait a minute. Let's go back to that because all these folks out here yelling and hollering and cussing at us and, and acting crazy, but everybody else they meet on the street or, or not in the street, even in their own homes, mistreating their families, mistreating their children, mistreating their wives, mistreating the people on the job, telling people what they ain't, what, what they can be and can't be. All of that's going on. Now, you think they got a pure heart? No, they don't have a pure heart. And you know what y'all said? He, he, he put a stipulation. He said he is good. Just look at it right. He's good to those in Yasserel who have a clean heart. Hallelujah. He, he ain't talking about the other ones. 
Mm -hmm. They don't want to follow him. And, you know, like we've always had a group, big, huge groups of our people who don't want to follow Yah. They want to do their own thing, what's right in their own sight. So then he doesn't consider you having a pure heart. So then how in the world you consider yourself woke? You're not. I say you beyond sleep. You're in a comatose state, mm. spiritual comatose state. Well, well, you, you, you're suffering from it. spiritual amnesia. You need to be woke up for sure. All right. Um, let's go on. It says a little bullet here. For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Leviticus 17. He's talking about the blood. Mm -hmm. What the blood is for. Mm -hmm. Well, if you take drain all your blood out, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, yeah. So the blood of it is for the life thereof. So y'all put blood in the human body so you could be functioning a <laughs> live function. Well, praise However, praise that's not where your life <laughs> ends. That's the, yeah, that's the physical life. Praise praise that's physical. It's part of the physical because you have the brain. So you have that's part of your physical makeup is your blood along with your muscles and your bones and your tendons and your organs and all those things that make you up. But you can have all of that in place and bring that blood out and that stuff is gone. Everything starts going back. Because you know your body will start eating on itself. It'll start dying, decaying, right mm -hmm. within itself. Mm -hmm. So what do you need? He's showing you a spiritual truth. Without the spirit of the most high flowing in us mm -hmm. as Yasserel, mm -hmm. as, as the body of Messiah, mm -hmm. all right, we're dead. And the blood is what feeds the body. You, all the food you eat has to somehow get into the blood. It ain't your full belly that keeps you going. It's when the blood system is being, it's all the vitamins and things that you mm. eat gets disseminated oh, out mm. into the body, into these, these valves, into your bloodstream, all right? So that your body can be healthy. Well, guess yeah. what? When you put unhealthy things in your body, it goes to your bloodstream. That's why when you put drugs and things in your system, it go to your head, to the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. See? So mm -hmm. you got to watch Yasuelites, crazy, crazy. what you hear. Because yeah. it's yeah. a spirit in you we're going to talk about that disseminates what you thought, what you hear and how you, you deliberate things that you hear. Mm -hmm. And it feeds something in you we're going to talk mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All preach right. It, preach it. I love it. There's a little another blue bullet it. here. It yeah. says, yeah. if yeah. you are in a coma, and somebody uh, turn the mic on and ask me, if you're in a coma with no brain function, are you a soul? Answer. No. Don't look at the answer. Answer. No. That's right. He answered. All right. Go ahead, sister. She answered too. Yeah. No. No. He said yes. No. What do I <laughs> No, answer the question. If you are in a coma, no brain function, are you a soul? You said no. That's right? Yeah. That's no. incorrect. No. All right, somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Yes, you are. Huh? Uh, yes, you are. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are. Look, yeah. If, 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 if your body is in a coma and you don't know where you at, they got you on some kind of pumps and all kind of apparatus mm -hmm. and mechanics. Uh, are you still a soul? Mm -hmm. You are still a soul. Mm -hmm. Why are you still a soul? The last thing goes your ears. <laughs> your uh -huh. hearing? Is it that the last thing goes your hearing? Oh, that's cute. You're talking about physical death. No, that's oh, okay. cute. But now we're talking about living soul. Okay. And, we, and what so that's all what makes a living soul? The spirit. What when yeah. the body dies, when the body dies, that's when the soul leaves. Keeping it alive would probably hold the soul there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a very good explanation. There are two things going on, Mother. Yes. The Go blood ahead. is still in the body, which uh -huh. is life, and the breath is still in the body. The so what do you say? You need both, both. To, to make a soul living, animated creature. We need blood and we need spirit. We need spirit. Breath is the same breath thing as saying spirit. spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you give up the ghost, the breath, they say ghost, but the breath, that's your spirit. You don't know that. Oh, it's just oxygen and mixed with a little helium. Life in the blood. 
Life is in the blood. Oh, and also, life is in the spirit. 24 to 28 grams is lost after death. You hear that? The blood? What are you saying? I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Uh, 24 to 28 grams is lost after death. It's like a weight has been removed and the body hasn't even moved yet. Right, and you haven't been on a diet. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. something moved, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Life moved. Wow. Oh, see, do we want to talk about that something that, that Usha, as he hung there on that tree and gave up his spirit. He see my spirit. We want you to see that it is not how we normally would have been taught it in Christianity. That's why I have to move all these little these little traps and stuff to try to throw you off so you can just see it easily. Uh, so take these notes, keep them, and read them along, and then put your own res uh, responses and answers with them. And then as you read scripture, so you can understand uh, better whatever it is you're studying. All right. So therefore, yes, sweetheart. Uh, most people probably wouldn't know that, but yeah, as long as there's life of breath, sure. you can be on a pump and it keep the blood going through, mm -hmm. but you your spirit's not there, you're dead. Yeah. Even though they got the pump, the light mm -hmm. teeth flash, flash that's, mm -hmm. but you, you're not really alive. Mm -hmm. See, that's what they're trying to create life now, but they're not, they don't know what they're doing because unless y'all give the breath of life, sure. there's no soul. So you got people walking around here soulless. Another subject. Let's talk about the soulless body. All right. Hmm. So let's read what it says. It says, "Y'all breathe the breath of life into Adam, and he became a living soul." Genesis yes. two seven. Mm -hmm. And uh, those of you out there on YouTube, our family, I'm going to try to put it all these as much of these notes. Uh, in the description box as I can for you to be able to go along with us. Uh, so look up there uh, to get them. All right, so uh, Adam had a body or form without life. He mm -hmm. was lifeless. Mm -hmm. All right. Until Yahuwah breathed on him. Yeah. Re received the spirit. Unless we receive the Ruach HaKadosh, unless we receive the Holy Spirit, we have no life in Yah. You might be walking around here on this earth, but you don't have life in Yah. His spirit is like blood. Yeah. Huh? It, it, it's what keeps you spiritually alive and vibrant. You must have it to survive, to live, to be called alive in him. Mm -hmm. That's why I say a lot of times people stop at the education, stop at the uh, uh, information, but you can't stop there because that's why Yahushua told the, the disciples, don't you go nowhere. First he said, receive the spirit. Before they even receive power, the, the, the Acts 238 is empowering. But in uh, the beginning, I mean, before the Acts, uh, somebody give me that uh, receive the Holy Spirit uh, verse. verse at one and eight, yeah, read it for me. Uh, he said before they received the Holy, they called the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. They had already received the Holy Spirit. They didn't teach that in Pentecostal. I know they didn't teach me that. Mm. That Yes, go ahead, read it. So you should receive power after that. Not that one, no. Not to receive, no. But he blew on them and they to receive the Holy Spirit before he uh, was mm -hmm. crucified. Before he was crucified. And I can't I think of, I can probably type it in real quick and get it. No problem. If you can find it before me, just open your mic. Uh, no, this is when he, when he, was, he, he breathed on them. He, he breathed he, on them and they took him out. And then and they received the, the So I'll get it, no problem. I can get it myself. I can know how to write it up. No problem. Let me do it. Oh, I don't want this one. Um, I'll get it for you real quick. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, he took him outside the city. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. What in the world is all this? Receive the Holy Spirit. Uh, Bible. 
Let's see what it says. Um, let's see. I'm so tired of them wanting to talk about everything they know. Oh, here it is. John 20 and 22. It says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them. Remember back in Genesis. Huh? Mm -hmm. And said unto them, receive ye the Holy Spirit. You see that? Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me Usha gave them the Holy? Yes, he did. He breathed on them. Oh, yeah. Wow. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And they received those. So they didn't go to, like some people tell you, they didn't go to the upper room to wait and receive the Holy Spirit. They already had it. What they were waiting on is the empowerment mm. for what they had to go and do. They received power. Mm. He said, ye shall, now you can read one and eight. Mm -hmm. Now you can read Acts one and eight. What does it say? You shall receive power after that the Holy He said, that's, that's the point of, of, of uh, the upper room experience was the power. That's Acts 1 and 8. So mm -hmm. if John uh, 20 told you they already received the Holy Spirit. And you shall be a witness unto me. Unto it's to, yeah, the power to witness mm -hmm. is what that was about. Mm -hmm. You need power because why? We're up against yeah. a big enemy here in earth. And it's going to take a, a, a power and a boldness mm -hmm. to be able to go out into this wicked world mm -hmm. and bring truth and light. So they had to be, we have to all be prepared for that. So now let's go back. Uh, will anybody have a question on that? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Go ahead, dear. Yeah, uh, okay. I didn't know that. But, so what's going on with the gift of the Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit as, as far as Acts, Acts 2? Read it. Oh, okay, get your scripture, read it, and we'll tell you what it is. All right, that's fine. You got it? Acts 2.38, you mean? Yeah, Acts 2.38. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, that's empowerment. That's, oh, that's empowerment. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, that, that, that's a bonus. <laughs> that's to get you ready for ministry. So you can't be given the power to do anything from Yah if you don't already have a spirit in you. You understand? You got to be born of the spirit before he will give you that kind of uh, 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 powerful gift. You got to be one of his, full of his spirit. Then he says, all right, I'm going to empower you. Oh, wow. oh, See, okay. you got that? All right. That's why they could get Paul. They was running when you uh, 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 running. They they got bold and they got stood up in front of everybody after that. After the after Acts 2.38, they got up and they start speaking. Hey, yes, come. <laughs> Oh, another attitude was mm -hmm. that was that power to yeah. witness. Yeah. Power K Acts two thirty. All right, all right. Let's go on. So let's look at First Corinthians fifteen forty five. And so it is written: the first man, Adam, was made a living what soul. Mm -hmm. The last Adam, which is Yahusha was made a quickening spirit. All right. So what we see here is that one, life came into the body, see? But the other one was the actual life, the life. He couldn't have lived here as a man without blood because that's where he created it. He had to have blood. Plus he had to have blood shed for us. All right. However, he was what? Ascended. He ascended. He a, a, a person now that has a quickening spirit can hear Yah. Hallelujah. And take commands from Yah. When you see that word, that's what is stipulated. That you can hear the spirit. That you can be moved and shaken, risen, whatever needs, whatever the will of the Father is. You, that is you. You respond to the spirit. Why? Because you can hear the spirit. And then you can act on the spirit, what his, what he says. And that's 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 what walking in, in the light of the spirit is about. It's about hearing the spirit. Hallelujah. Let him that can hear the spirit, hear the spirit. Those of you who are carnal minded have a difficult time listening and hearing the spirit. Mm -hmm. 
So you can't move. Quickening is an action. It's a movement. So when I hear, I act and I react. You see the difference? But at first Adam didn't have that. But Usha did. He said, I'm here to do the will of my father. And he did. So he And he did it all the way to death and beyond the grave. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Don't forget what that. Adam failed Ooh. to do. Yo, you should did it. Yes, he did. So he had to hit Adam had all the equipment and didn't use it, but Yahusha used it to bring in our souls to the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go to John 6 6 3. 6 63. It is the spirit that quickened it. There it is again. How are you going to be quickened by the spirit of Yah if the spirit of Yah cannot communicate with your spirit? Because he don't talk to your mind, you know. That's why all them folks about they heard from, from, from God, from Yah, whatever, they don't understand what they're talking about. That's mind is telling them stuff on what they've been taught and conditioned to hear. Oh, he told me to go take an elevator and go down on Fifth Street and stand out there and pass out track. No, he did You wanted to go pass out some tracks. So in your mind, you got to set. It was a statement. And that statement, so oh, that's godliness. That's good. Let's go do it. I'm going to show you that I'm, that I'm right. And I'm not here to be right. I'm here to show the righteous way. I take that back. I'm show you the righteous way. Hallelujah. I'm just like one of those little parking attendants when you go to Disneyland. You used to go to Disneyland. And uh, a <laughs> uh, 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 rat alley. <laughs> And uh, they would be standing out there to park the cars, right? And what would they have in their hand? They have these little lights when it's going get dark to show you, park over here. Yes. Park over there. No, no, no. Go this way. You know, little lights show you. We really have little jackets on and everything. Well, see, <laughs> what, what, well, it shows the way, right? That's what I do. I'm just standing like a little parking attendant. And y'all are, y'all are children. Y'all pulling in. Okay, where do we go, Myra? What, what has that? Oh, okay, Renee, you go there. Oh, two, that's it. Come, come on, you go there. Come on, Tracy, you go over that way. Yeah, that's all I do. And then when you get there, oh, look at what I y'all got for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> all right. So it is the spirit that quickens. Why? It remains in response to the spirit. Now you see it. Response to the spirit of Yah. That's what quickness means. The flesh profits nothing, the word. This is the word. Profit is nothing. Wait a minute. I, but you need blood. <laughs> but you won't have a body, right? Okay. Uh, in spiritual matters, it's talking about. If you're carnal minded, you know spiritual good. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to be carnal good. Amen. So be spiritual minded. Be not drunk with wine, but be full of the spirit. Yes. All right. The words that I speak unto you, Amen. they are spirit. Now, wait a minute. I didn't know a word could be a spirit, but did you know, open your mouth, right. say spirit. spirit. Did you spirit. see that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see nothing come out of your mouth with your ear picking no, no. up. That's all that's a spiritual a spirit. thing. Yes, it is. People don't realize that, but that's part. Hallelujah. That's not all. <laughs> that is part. Because every man that's living has a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to get deep in our spirit. We ain't going to just stop at that the lightweight stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Mm-hmm. So listen to this. And they are life. Yeah. You hear that? So the breath of Yahuwah is the spirit in our lives. They are, they are why we are alive in him. It is a spirit. Don't look to find it. Don't look, go hunting for it. You got to know that you know that you know. And everybody around you going to know the spirit you have. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Yes, dear. I mean, I was calling here yes. that the big bang. The Big Bang Theory was a big liar, a big, well, a big liar. Uh, when Ahusha spoke and created the universe, 
It wasn't tearing it up. He put it together. Hallelujah, somebody. Hello. The Big Bang tear up stuff. Do you yep. hear me? Yeah. Listen, listen. You <laughs> go out there and you hit that car. Boom. That's a bang. And you tore up something. But he didn't tear up something. He put it together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glory. Father. Yes. Somebody, hallelujah. hallelujah. Hello, somebody. <laughs> he put it together, not tearing it up. And this is what they missed. Oh, my goodness, how awesome it is. No one can understand <laughs> y'all as he gives them spiritual Hallelujah. Ears to hear, he though. put it together. He didn't tear that. Up. Oh, my love. What's wrong with them folks? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Job 7 11. Something wrong with Did you want to say something? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Ooh, Sister Renee, is that you? You want to say something? He, he's the creator, not the destroyer. Come Hello, on now. somebody. <laughs> They're the destroyer. You see this earth thing destroying left and right. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, right. You said you done polluted my earth. You got to yeah. pay for that. <laughs> now you got some bad it. tenants. You done left my place oh, all polluted. Man. All my lakes and trees. All oh, this man. plastic and rubber and everything. You done slaughtered my animals. Oh yeah, you gonna have, you got a big bill to pay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you did, hey, you get out of this hotel. <laughs> I, I will strap you with the bill, bill. <laughs> and it's a bill you're not gonna be able to pay. So I guess I'm gonna have to take it out your hiney. That's good. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's right. Oh, All right. Therefore, Job seven eleven. Therefore, mm -hmm. I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak. In the anguish of what? In the anguish of my spirit. So we're learning something about the spirit. Yeah. He said, I got a spirit it's and it's in anguish. Man. Every man has a spirit. Yeah. And, and know that emotion is a seed of emotion. A lot of emotions there. And things that, a lot more things. Sensitivities and all kinds of things are there. It's very complicated. It's not just one thing. But I'm getting to the main thing. Yes. Yeah. See, uh, I will complain in the bitterness of what? Of my soul, of my person. So what I'm experiencing in my spirit, I'm going to express it. That's what he said. I'm expressing what I'm sensing in my spirit. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to cry. I'm going to moan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to groan. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So your, 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 your body, he's like using it as a trumpet. You know, I, I'm, I'm getting these vibes on in the spirit. And I'm going to blow it out <laughs> so you know what I'm going through. That's what he's speaking mm -hmm. of. I but he doesn't it. mention, uh, but oh, another word he could have said was heart. Mm -hmm. If you'll notice, mind, heart, and spirit are interchangeable throughout the, the, the Holy Scriptures. All right? So you have to understand that. All right? Let's go a little further. Proverbs 15, 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Hallelujah. Now you can bring life to people with your tongue and you can bring death, mayhem, confusion. Mm -hmm. This here, a little rudder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know yeah. what, what, what uh, Peter says about it. What? Yeah, it's yeah. dangerous. <laughs> it, 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 it's something else. Yeah, you have to keep, yeah. keep, keep focused on that because it can get a lot of people in trouble. Yeah. So yeah. a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. But perverseness therein or spoken is a breach in what? The spirit. You want to lose out. Huh? Do perverse things and think perverse thoughts and you won't be with y'all alone. Mm. You offend the Holy Spirit. He do not sit there and just cry. He gave it so much time and then he packs his bags and he's gone. <clears throat> and a lot of people, he didn't move so long ago. They're yeah. just going through the same exactly. habits they've always done, but he, he ain't even gone a long time ago. He gave you a chance you didn't want. It. You want to do your own thing, how you want to do it. He's the king. I, I don't know what, what king lets a pauper come up in there and tell him what to do. So what you do is you put a breach, mm. a disconnect. A breach is a disconnect. Mm -hmm. There used to be a span there mm -hmm. or a bridge there. You could walk across it and oh, communicate. Yeah, and now all of a sudden there's a big hole in it and you can't get across no more. No. Often life and spirit, there I just said it again, interchangeable. Life and spirit is interchangeable as well. Job 
12, 10, in whose hand is the soul of every living thing. Hallelujah. Every living thing Hallelujah. has a soul. Hallelujah. The fish, <laughs> the wildebeest on the Serengeti, <laughs> including yeah. those alligators and crocodiles, <laughs> snakes, yeah. bears, and lions. Amen. dogs and cats, Amen. birds, Amen. they all have a soul. Amen. Why? Because they have life. Amen. That life that we take so, oh, it's just, you have to have a mechanism from Yah to breathe Amen. with the breath come from him. Amen. He said what? He holds everything together by the what? Word of his <sighs> What about plants, mother? Plants don't have a soul. This is creatures. Oh, okay. Plants don't have soul. Blood. Okay. Now they're plants. They're not any way uh, creatures. Plants aren't. Right. Creatures. We are creatures, actually, in a sense. If you put it that way, you can see it. Uh huh. Right. But they are not creatures. They are plants. Thank you. Good question. Um. So let's go on. Genesis two seven. So we know Yah is the one who gives what life. Breath comes from Yah. I don't care whether you are a bank robber, a murderer, uh, nun, uh, a bartender, a nurse. You're taking Yah's breath every time you breathe. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we can put people on oxygen. Yeah, they're going to have to. Yeah, you can give them a fake uh, oxygen. Yes, you can. And you can help enhance their breathing ability. I don't care if we call it oxygen, nitrogen, whatever you call it, it all comes from Yah. One's in the body, breathing out the nose, others in the tank. That's all the difference. But all that oxygen you call just the oxygen like it's nothing still comes from Yah. And don't get it twisted. All right. And all you did was capture what Yah had created. Okay. And put it in a vial to use. But it's the same as if it just came up originally from the person. All right. So like blood trans transfusion stuff. Are you saying that because of the blood transfusion, that's what saves the life? Or are you saying that y'all create the blood that you're using to give somebody life? So it's, it's, a whole, it's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. He created the blood, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what y'all doing to y'all's blood, I pray we never have no, nothing to do with the trans transferring too much blood because uh, you have to pray when you're going for that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have prayed. All right. All right. Let's go on. Genesis 2, 7. And the most high Yah breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Again, man became a living soul. Hallelujah. Just to reiterate Hallelujah. what where breath come from. You call it oxygen if you want to, but it come, it's the breath of the most high, whether you know it or like mm -hmm. it or not. Okay. Uh, the next bullet. And the uh, very Yah of peace sanctify you wholly with, with all. It's another word for whole, whole is with all. With all. All right. And I pray, Yah, your whole, there you go, spirit. What do you mean your whole spirit? You mean the spirit mm -hmm. is not always complete. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. Let your whole spirit, all that you are, that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. And mm -hmm. soul, that which houses the soul. The soul is made up of the body. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why well, he yes. said, I want you to worship me in body and spirit and in soul. Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. So while we are Trinity, don't say it. Just say no. <laughs> I'm just one Myra. But these things I need to function as Myra. All right. Uh, and body. Oh, there it is. Whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved. What? Blame me. Blameless, so you are responsible that your spirit, your body, also people think that the body, oh, just cast it over the fence. Who cares? No, 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 no. Well, it's going to be changed anyway, uh uh, because everything your body do stems from your spirit. Yes, it does. First Corinthians, the third chapter says, Know you not that your body is a living sacrifice and that the spirit of God dwell in you. And if any man defile the, the, the temple of y'all, he will destroy you. Hello, somebody. So you can't mess up that spirit. Hello. Don't get it dirty. Hello. 
If you say hello to somebody, don't Hallelujah. get dirty. No, you don't. Because you got more to deal with this than the person. You got to deal with it. Yeah, he said he will destroy you for messing up the spirit. Hallelujah. God, be careful. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, it's real. All right. Mother, is yes. that why we're supposed to be buried and not cremated? No, nothing to do with it. Is there any correlation no with that? No spirit is gone out of your body when you die, honey. Mm -hmm. You ain't there no more. You mm -hmm. moved on. That body okay. just throw it over. Fence, I always tell people, when I die, just throw it over. <laughs> I don't care what you do with my body. That's a Christian attitude. <laughs> okay. Everybody don't have a chance to be buried. Everybody, some people are blown up. Some people have died in the ocean. You, you, you think y'all can't put every molecule back in your body that was that was destroyed? And okay. Yeah. Don't you know yeah. nothing yeah. leaves this earth? Don't you know nothing leaves this this confinement? Right. Nothing leaves the dome, huh? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Not a drop of water, not even a little speck of dust. That means you all the folks that left here are still here with us. This is in a different form, but they, as far as their bodies, they're here. Okay. All right. Thank you. So why he said let the dead bury the dead. All right. <laughs> I love him. All right. Let's go on. So what does he say? All of your body, your spirit, your mind must be blameless until, until waiting on the coming of cross that I didn't get to change. You have so much to change. Of the Messiah Yahusha. Okay. I'll change that for the people on the audience. I'm sure I do that. All right. Now, I think you understand what makes you whole person is your spirit, mind, and your body, right? Amen. That's what he's talking about. All of it must be what? Pure. Hallelujah. Well, I can't be pure when you go play ball and you get dirty. Yeah, I mean, that's just know. ignorance. You gotta be pure. He's talking about in the things that displease y'all, you are not a sinful mm -hmm. person. You're, you, you're, you're pure because you have your mind on him. You can't be pure with a mind on all the world's activities and entertainments mm -hmm. and, and things like that. You just can't be because you're, 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 you, you put your spirit and your mind in jeopardy. You have to watch what you listen to. Hallelujah. People you run with and, and their conversations. Uh, I, I, you know, you have to be, be like on guard. You can't help yes. when people are some are cussing or cursing or whatever they're doing. Uh, you don't have any control over that when you're out there in that world. But you have a barrier that sets up in your mind, mm -hmm. in your heart, that is, it, it, it repulses. It, it throws it out quickly. You have like this little mechanism mm -hmm. that goes off. Yes. That goes off. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the wonder of having the spirit. Because the spirit is pure. And anything that tries to come through the filter that's not pure, it, re it resists it. Resists the devil. He'll flee from it. Just it vexes it. our spirit, right? It's like, uh, yeah, anything. It's like abuse. It don't take you long if somebody will walk up and try to just say, I want to hit you in your head. You're going to have a response. So, so I don't think so. You don't want to do that. That's your response. And if they do it, they're going to get a response. Well, the, the Holy Spirit is sitting there and he's responding to your spirit. See, if your spirit is not in alignment, how are you going to hear him? Mm -hmm. If all this other clutter mm -hmm. is, 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 is in there and, it, and it's cluttering up the signal, how are you going to get the, the value of having your spirit regenerated if you, if you keep it full of mess? All right. Is this why we separate music by the spirit? Let me finish and then we go oh. to the music. I'm going to talk about music. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, the heart or mind is the spiritual center of what? What you say? Soul. Soul. That's it. That's why Yah is always after your heart. He's always talking about your heart. <laughs> yes. He's yes. talking about that, that motivation you got. Not just your energy, but your motivation. What is your motivation? Mm -hmm. That's why I said examine yourself. Mm -hmm. Check out your motivation. What moves you? What excites you? What turns you on? Mm -hmm. Tells you a lot about your spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. All right, we're going to get into some of that. Preach it, preach it. Uh, he it says, uh, the soul is the house 
of the body and spirit. It's the casing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is that which can respond to the natural world. Mm -hmm. Where your treasure, or in other words, what you value, <laughs> where that what you value is, <laughs> there will your heart be also. You should say, what do you spend your time thinking on? What do you spend most of your time doing? Mm -hmm. Well, that's telling you who your God is. He's telling you so you can get some help. Right. If it's spending on all the wrong things, on the, too much time on the things that don't matter, is all his vanity, then you, he's telling you, pull, pull off of it. Pull off of it. Pull out. Change. You can ask y'all, he'll help you. All of us have to go through that. Cleaning house, so to speak. You can call it cleaning mm -hmm. house. See what, what matches the will and what don't. Anything that don't match, like looking for socks. You know how you go through your old socks? And if you find a match, you put them together. If you don't find it, you throw it in trash. <laughs> well, y'all is that match. You got to have a match for everything that's going on in your life. You got You can't find a match for it? Get rid of it. You can't stay. I, ain't got, I, don't, I don't need no two left socks, okay? May I, 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 I need to finish. Can we do this after? Yeah, we Thank you. I know he gets excited. Go ahead. I gotta wait. Y'all just gonna sit here all night because I'm gonna get through. I got several pages to go, but we gonna hear you out, Papa, because you pop. And when everybody I, loves to hear from pops. Go ahead, pops. But listen, listen. I, I'm curious because when uh, you said that we matching, somebody told me that Adam was a white man. Listen, listen, wait a minute. Now, I'm talking to you. This this was on TV. I should have known. So my first explanation. <laughs> this man said Adam was a white man. I said, wait a minute, man. Where you come from? Clay ain't white. What's that got to do with what we talking about? I said, about? this man is, is uh, Adam was clay. He was made from the clay. The dirt that we step on, the clay that we uh, we get some time to eat. Hello, somebody. That's, That's us. So we're people of color. That man was all. Hello, somebody. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Uh, my husband. It didn't match. <laughs> it didn't match at all. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> no, no match. That, that was no, the point. No, no. I look in the mirror and I'm all right. Talking. All right, let me go on now. Hallelujah. Thank you for the for the for the uh, uh, yeah, uh, intermission. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna interject you in a minute. Oh, all right. <laughs> Where's my needle? Oh. He must have been. Cautious. You know what? You know how that how that lemon helped me. Hallelujah. It did. I tell you, it did help. Hallelujah. I'm not coughing. I just got this now because I want to taste it. But I, I, the clean is gone. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, sir. I'm on it. Thank you, brother, sir. Hallelujah. All right. What your mind is constantly on is your God. That's true. Yes. What are your interests in life? Is everything taking pre preeminence over y'all? I fit him in when I got time. Your spirit is muddled. I'm going to tell you that now. Because he's not going to force his communication on a person whose mind is not interested in being communicated with. All right. All right. Uh, so let's go on and find out some more. Your brain is a complicated conductor of nerves and impulses needed for the function of the human body. We know that. All these little messages, mm -hmm. like little... My, my, what do you call it? Little electrodes going through, taking off information so fast you can't, you can't keep up. We understand that. But that's, that's, we're talking something beside that. that spirit, right? The heart or mind is the interior seat of the subconscious expression. Now, I'm going to tell you something about that state. Come straight from heaven because I don't know what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just typed it. I said, what you call what? <laughs> he said, Great the good heart good. is the interior seat of the subconscious expression. Okay. I'm like people from, from, from Africa that was like, okay. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about? Well, I understood. I understand now yeah, what he was talking about. But at the moment that I was typing it, I just said, I stopped and said, what does that mean? And uh, he began to tell me. And so that's what we're going to continue reading. Because you have a conscience. Everybody's aware that everyone has a conscience. 
And that's how we tell most of the time the good from evil, what to do and not to, you know, conscience. Y'all put a conscience in mankind, period, to guide him into right instead of wrong so that he would recognize what's wrong. Conscience has been of value to man ever since y'all created. Mm -hmm. I don't care where you're from or, 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 or where you're going. You're a human being. You started out, you could be callous right now, but you had a conscience. When that conscience is gone, you might as well, might as well pick up and say you're gone. Mm-hmm. Because that really is, is the doorway to the spirit. And if it's calloused, no signal from heaven can get through. Let me say it again. Mm-hmm. No signal from heaven, because that's what spirit will do when it communicates. He wants to communicate with your mm-hmm. spirit. But now you've got up a barrier like cataracts on my eyes I had removed. If I had not gotten those cataracts removed, I'd be blind. Mm-hmm. Cataracts don't come overnight. They build, build over time. They get thicker. Well, that's the way a callous heart is. It don't happen overnight. You don't recognize it's happening, but you keep going astray from what God is telling you. So, it, so you get a little film. Mm. And if you keep going in that direction, it keeps building up that film. If you don't get it repented and get it out of your heart and out of your life, it gets a little thicker. Until one day, you're reprobate. You don't know up from down, right from wrong. Yes from no. In the things of the spirit, you're completely dead. You don't want to be dead. That's why he says, what? Repent quickly. Mm-hmm. Get it off. Get it out. Get it off of you. Because a little film starts building up. And those are usually people trying to judge other folks. That's why he said, get that beam. In other words, you done went past cataract. You got a beam sitting up in your ass. You need to get that out before you start telling somebody else. What to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't wait way too long. Nothing that ain't got a life of his own now. That's true. Yeah. Mother, mother. So is conscience the same as like our will? You know how he he gives us free will. Will is it? it uh, well, will is part of your. Um, nature um your tastes are you know that's part of the, that's more on the carnal side until it's it, uh, until it's uh like my will would be to go to the movie tonight i mean you can say that that's not really spiritual is it like the physical manifestation of the action that was motivated by your thought that's a good one mm-hmm. absolutely that's where the motivation okay. comes from for will that's why you have to make your will in, be in tune to the will of the Father. That's something that has to be forced mm-hmm. upon yourself. Because your will is, is more on the flesh side mm-hmm. of the house, carnal side of the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what you have to do is take your will and say, you're going to obey the Father. You hear what I'm telling you right now? <laughs> do you hear me? Let me say it louder. you going to obey the will of my Father. That's right. <laughs> you got it? That's where you have to do it. And get control of that will of yours. That will want to go out and do what it want to do. That's what happened to Adam and Eve. Did it happen at all? Uh, look at history. People had a will. They did what they wanted to with that will. It wasn't in tune to y'all. Your will don't have to be in tune to y'all because you got a will. You're in tune to yourself. And after a while, you can be in tune to the devil. Well, preach it. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't put them in the same category so much, but it's all part of the human conscience. Uh, all of it is entwined, but it's not the spirit that we're dealing with. No, the spirit is unique. Okay. It's of y'all. I know we're all of y'all in a sense, but it's the only mechanism we have in our physical body that is not physical that can communicate with heaven. Your oh, mind yeah. don't communicate with nothing. <laughs> not heavenly, not spiritually. But your heart does because your heart is your spirit. That's why he wants you to be renewed in your spirit. Because once your spirit is righteous, your mind is righteous. I like that. Your action I is right. I like that. I that. Yes. I like that. And that's going to be on tape so you can play it again. So yes, thank you. Just, just know yes. that. So we're going to get our people getting ready to get that ship, you know. 
So we, we, your father wants you to have this in preparation. So you don't be listening to all these crazy spirits going on out there. Preaching, preaching. Spirit wants to like spirit. And we're going to get into that and show you how that works. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go on. So we talk about the heart. Effects to one degree or another. All, there you go. All of life's activities has to affect. Them. You see what I mean? So your subconscious is what you're not thinking when you're thinking. Or thinking, not thinking. Yeah, what you're thinking. You're thinking constantly. You're thinking right now. Okay. But your subconscious is quieter than that. Mm -hmm. It's some of them things that you've been thinking. And it's like a little drop hole. You know, it's like a little fill. It just kind of little things keep dropping in it. You got to make sure that's cleaned out every now and then. That little vacuum. That little... Mm -hmm. Because the stuff you hear from the streets, the stuff you hear on television, stuff you hear on the internet, mm. a, a thought that comes to your own mind that's not lined up with the will, all those little particles are just moving around. <laughs> and, and they want to attach to what it, it, it's familiar with, like a familiar spirit. <laughs> got to clean that lint trap. Yeah, you got to clean your lint trap so you can get that air construction in there. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's right. Do. Yeah, you do. Be mindful yeah, of it. Yeah. Be aware of it. Check yourself out. That's what the word said. You've got to do. Check yourself out. Examine yourself, the word said. See if you be in the faith. Because you can do things by heaven and forgot all about Yeah. But you're so used to uh, amening and crossing hearts and, and, and putting your finger up to walk out around and, and, and dressing a certain way and talking a certain jargon. And, but that's not Yah. That's, that, you, you, that's your heredity. You have, you are in a, a social order. And so that's what you pick up. And so you, people, oh, they look churchy. They look saved. They look holy. That don't make them holy. That's, that, people have dressed apart for years and what nothing but a devil in disguise. Sheeps or a wolf in sheep's clothing. But they got the look. They got the jargon. You know how to dip right, bow right, nod right, amen right. Amen, preacher. Preach the preach the preacher. <laughs> and we accept that. Oh, yeah, look at that. They really enjoy the word. They got something going over there. They ain't got nothing going on. All right, let's go on. Judge a man by his fruit, not his amens. Okay, thank you. Hallelujah. All right. So it was, okay, so it, it is where love, what is it? The heart is where love, devotion, faithfulness, etc. all the good stuff, I could go on and on. Or it could be hate, or it can be a mixture. Some people love one person, hate another. Mm -hmm. So it could be a mix, but I want to just show you. Jealousy, treachery, uh, mm -hmm. et cetera, all of that can reside there. And one you is stronger than the other until the other is like strong arm goes down. Mm -hmm. So if you feed the spirit, he's a strong arm. And we you know when he, those things come along, like hate and treachery, you know, they try to, to tempt him, he goes, take them down. But now if the carnal mind is strong and the spirit man is trying to say, no, 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 because it's weak. <laughs> that carnal mind say, uh-uh, I'm big and I'm strong. Thanks to you, down you go. <laughs> that works. All right. Depending on the value, and that's so important, what do you value? What is your treasure? It is associated within its confines. You'd be surprised that there's, there's the confines of the heart. There's places of the heart. There's places that things can be kept and dropped almost like a mail room, you know, they put the letters in the different slots, mm -hmm. huh? according to the value. Okay, I got slots, you got slots. Okay, a steak, for instance. Where do you put a steak? Well, I write down low on my list is beef, and I don't eat a lot of that, and I know it's not too good for me, so I eat once in a while, so that's low in the slot. <laughs> okay, well, what about going out to dinner? 
yeah, I used to like it, but now it's kind of, it's, I dropped it down a couple slots because of all the, the cold, uh, the CV and all that. I don't want to go out too much like I used to. So I've kind of gotten happy staying home and eating my food at home. Well, that's good. So you, you see how you can move slots around? I used to uh, love to yeah, go to the movies, yeah. somebody might say, mm-hmm. which I never have because I always tell people I never did like sitting up in a dark room with a bunch of strangers. That never did. That never done me nothing. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but uh, if it was when you first came into knowledge, it might have been top on the top tier of, of your slot. But not, you know, it's kind of, kind of not as important anymore. Mm-hmm. If there's a really good something I think I need to see, okay, I might go. So you drop that from slot to slot. So that goes with all of your life. Oh, if she speaks to me, that's nice. But if she don't, I got a grudge. But after a while, they don't speak, you really don't care because it's so far down the bottom. <laughs> it's like you don't even hardly recognize it anymore because you're grown, you see. And so it's not. So what's in your top tier is what you really have to watch. What really turns you on in a sense? I hate to use that word, but it really yeah. makes sense yeah. because yeah. what thrills you, you yeah. know? Well, yeah. it's Yah that thrills me. Yeah. It's he that makes me smile. Huh? He gives me a reason for living. So he's way up at the top, yes, see, and he's the one I have my mind on all the yes, time. I yes. used to want to get rich, Hallelujah. but not in the in the in the filthy lucre of this world. But now I want to get rich yes. in the knowledge of the Most High. See, I've changed my thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set your treasure on high. Yeah. Hallelujah. I used to want to be popular with the world. Now I just want to help my people Hallelujah. to get ready to lift out of here. Hallelujah. I've changed. Hallelujah. I want to be a Broadway actress. Hallelujah. I wanted to be a Broadway star. Yes, Hallelujah. Now I want to be a star in the crown of my father. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. My slots have changed. My priorities have changed. Hallelujah. I used to be lonely when folks didn't call me. Now I'm saying more time with y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, because I, I, I've changed. Yes, you have. See, yes, you have. That's what we're talking about. Hallelujah. So where are you? That's what y'all say. Where am I in your life? Put He better be at the top peak. All the way across. Yes, my, all the way across. Lord. You don't mind you having some things beneath him. A few things here and there. Like a good good novel every now and then, you, you know, like a certain a movie that you maybe like that, that has some good substance to it. Uh, but if those things are the, what turn you on and get you motivated, that's what we got a problem with. Hallelujah. Thou shall have no other y'all before me. Hello, somebody. Well, a lot of times people say that. Thou shall have no okay. other y'all before me. Put uh-huh. everything you want back there, back behind me. Hello, somebody. All right. Thank you. Oh, I love that. I love it. All right. So, and, and it's right. Don't put, the, but see, we, that's a common, we have used that in Christianity for so long. Yes, do we man. really bear the brunt of what it really means? And that's why we're trying to do it this way because we've heard those scriptures, which are true. Yes, but how did we process? How was it processed? Yeah. Well, I believe that. I, ain't nobody ahead of, ain't no, uh, God is first. That's what we say. God is first. Mm. But your life didn't say that. Action didn't That's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can stand up and say, oh, yeah, he's first in my life. And I can stand up in testimony service. I want to give honor to, oh, to, to, to my, to, hey, mm-hmm. I want to give honor to, to God, who is first, and, and Jesus, JC, who is first in my life, to the pastor and the first lady of this assembly, to all of the deacons and the boards. Oh, and to all of you little peons around, sitting around here with me. I want to give all, oh, I know exactly what it was all about. Mm-hmm. But to say you give honor to him and calling somebody else less than that just show, show you who you're just talking. You didn't mean a word up. Yeah. But you treat them like they peons if you didn't say it. True. All right. <laughs> Woo, we're on a roll. All Hallelujah. right. So I it's want to show you something. Here now. All right. The heart is multi-directional. Upward, downward, <laughs> outward, huh? Inward or inward outward. So you can get things into it, things come in, things are released, huh? Things that are produced can affect other people. 
Hmm? And what they have can affect you. That's why you have to watch your conversation. That's your lifestyle. Hmm. Right, honey? Yes, it is. And cool. And cool. It's spiritual property. Say spiritual properties. Spiritual property. You know about properties. All kinds of different kinds of properties. Not just land. There's chemical properties. Mm -hmm. Medicinal properties. All kinds of properties. But there's a spiritual property. And it has more than one concept and asset to it. And what happens is that those properties, that spiritual properties, they travel. Mm -hmm. Like he said, upward to Yah, huh? mm -hmm. to the lower, the lower instinct. You can go down to the lower instinct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can affect others and they can affect us. You see that? That's what the spirit does. It's multi, multi-directional. So you got to watch what comes out of the spirit. What comes in to the spirit, what is released to Yah, and what is to the lower, the lower human desire. Keep an eye on them. Mm -hmm. If you're around someone who doesn't understand these things, you can be influenced, <coughs> even though you think you're strong, and they what they say is not affecting you, it does. Everything that comes into the ear gate, your spirit picks it up. That's why you have to go into your spirit and say, I reject you in the name of the most high. Give it a scripture and tell it to get out. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. I don't receive that. That's a lie. All right. Mm -hmm. So it is spiritual properties that travel through to inspire, to influence, and that can be to the good or to the bad. Mm -hmm. All right. 1 Corinthians 2.10, for to us, God revealed them through the spirit. How does he reveal to you? Mark, if you're tired, honey, go to sleep. All right, thank you. All right. For to us, Yah, it's a hidden little message, but it's right there. How does Yah reveal to you? Well, people say his word, the preacher, and all that. Well, that's, that's, uh, down the line somewhere perhaps but really to your spirit to receive what he wants he is spirit see yah yeah. is spirit mm -hmm. he don't deal with your mechanicalness of your brain and he don't deal with your body he deals with your spirit mm -hmm. that's why we have to always keep our spirit tilted up never down never out That's why the hands, the hands aren't meaning that you're so spiritual. The hands are saying, I understand mm. where my help is coming from. My help coming from the most high. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. hallelujah. All, right? All right. Hallelujah. That's why it said we must worship him in yes. spirit and in truth. It, 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 yes. Okay. So what? This, uh, so he, y'all reveals himself as spirit to our spirit. Mm -hmm. That has been what? has a new nature that is pure that is true all right them through that's why a lot of people can't handle the message they don't want to be pure they don't they want to do their own thing yeah, preach it preach it so they don't want to hear what you got to say all right uh so reveal them through how how does he reveal his spirit how does he reveal what he wants through your spirit the spirit needs spirit The spirit talks to spirit. Carnal We have to be in tune to the spirit by our spirit, not by your intellect. But no matter how smart you are and how much you know, that don't mean with, you communicate with the most high. Without speech, even. That's right. Hallelujah. May he make some intercession for us without speech. Words that can't be uttered. Oh, oh come on. Okay, now. I'm gonna wait because when you clap, you can't hear me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll wait. He gets excited. All right. That's okay, honey. Go ahead and clap. I'm gonna let, I'm well, gonna give I you a whole excited. whole minute to just sit there and clap. Well, <laughs> well, I was excited because the scripture here in uh, uh Psalm 19 
the heaven declared the glory of Yahweh, and in the firmament there which his hand worked. He, he, his hand work is around us, and we're sitting in it right now. Hello, somebody. The globe, the, the, the universe was sitting in it. That's his handwork. Hallelujah. And I get excited because I'm reality. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, Papa. <laughs> I'm going to tell you where reality is getting ready to go in a minute. <laughs> I, I'm going to take some bowl of soup word. and, let, I'm, I'm and let reality have some soup. I'm getting right. word. I'm getting the substance of it. I'm yeah, but if I can Hallelujah. get the lesson out well, a little bit that we can talk, we're going to have family time. I'm just, it's taking so long uh, and people get tired, they leave. Yeah, and they, they, they can't eat them. Oh, my. And I'm just trying to I see people pop, pop it on. Oh, no, somebody came in. I took that okay, we, we don't mind <laughs> at all. We <laughs> leave, they missing out. All right, they just oh, well, you hear that? I'm excited. Hallelujah. Y'all have to forgive me. I'm excited. I'm oh, living no, no. in the reality zone. And I'm looking Hallelujah. At the, the evidence is here. And we just got to digest it. Hallelujah, somebody. That's the word. David said in Psalm 119, 11. Oh, here, why don't you take my notes and finish and I'll just sit down and It's okay with me. I, I'm fine because I got some. My mouth's been dry. Too much. My mouth's been drained. Go ahead, baby. And he said, the word ever preaching. hid in my heart that I might not sin against her. A pusher. That's who we don't sin against. Come on, somebody. Hello here. Yes, we can talk all day, but don't let your sin be in your life. Don't let sin get in your life. Don't let it get into your thoughts. That's what she's saying. That's a good lesson. Thank you for the interpretation, dear. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now you may take the floor. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love it. I love that. You may thank you for the Y'all are, <laughs> are beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. What a demonstration of a uh, uh, husband I have and wife. to the head. Yeah. Praise y'all. <laughs> Adorable. I'm going to use some of this water right now. Oh. Thank you. You, uh, you. you may have the clothes. All right. <laughs> Let's go on. So the spirit what does what? Okay. Searches all things. Yes, yes. Do you see how important it is to have the communication with the Holy Spirit oh, who can reveal to you any and everything you need to understand and know? As you need it, he's there to equip you for it. Oh, my goodness. There's not a dull moment in y'all. You think he is dull to serve him because they don't know him. All right. So searches all things, even what? Now you're getting all things, and also now it's taking to the depths of Yah Himself. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? How do how's that happen? Through his spirit communicating with you and your spirit. Wow. Let's go to the next page. First Thessalonians 5:23. Yah of peace sanctify you again, holy. We understand that. We already read that, so we can. I still want to say it again. And I pray, Yah, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our King, Yahusha Messiah. Now you see what that L O R D fits so wonderful with King, because that's the word He showed me should be there, King mm -hmm. Yahusha Messiah. Because he is coming to reign and rule. You hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. He is the King yes. of all yes. kings, yes. over all kings. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> and also they put that in there like that because he's the king of kings. Yes, he is. Hello, he's the king. Somebody. He's the kings of lords. Yes, he, he ain't no lord of lords. He's the king. He's the king. Okay. All right. Second Thessalonians 2 2. That ye be not soon shaken in where? In your mind. Listen to this. Or be troubled. Hallelujah. Neither by what? Spirit. No, wait a minute. It's called, you said heart, mind, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't be troubled by spirit, by word, something said, mm -hmm. by letter mm -hmm. from well, us. This is the say? apostle. Okay, this is them. And he said as from us, as that the day of Messiah is at hand. So listen, don't be upset or shaken because what we're speaking to you, I'm saying that to you as well. Don't be shaken by what we're relating to you mm -hmm. because this is our job. This is what we're here for. This is what we do. By what my words are speaking, by what, what the spirit is speaking, don't be, don't be, don't be bothered. Receive it. Hallelujah. 
in the, in the faith that y'all's given you to receive yeah. so that you can blend your will right along with his and understanding what the spirit Hallelujah. said to Hallelujah. his body, to, to his people. All right. He's at hand, y'all. Yes. It says right here, preach it, preach it. as that the day of Messiah mm -hmm. is at hand. Reality, right now. The ship is right. in the harbor. Right. That's right. And we're putting together our things and belongings. And everything yeah, in us got to belong to Yah. Okay, I have to, I can't. If you talk over me, Speedy, I'll let you talk. Then I'll talk. You preach it. Okay. The only reason I'm trying to keep the cross is because sometimes I'm talking. If somebody crosses me, they, the people are saying they can't hear me. I don't mind stopping. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you want to say something. You can say it. All right. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> what? Did we all take a deep breath? All right. Let's go on. Second Corinthians 3 6. Who also have made us able ministers of the new, I hate that word, continued testament, <laughs> improved testament, <laughs> not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter, what? Mm -hmm. Just having a knowledge of the word doesn't mean enough. It's not mm -hmm. enough. But the what? The spirit gives life. Mm -hmm. so you can you can quote scripture day and night. Mm -hmm. But if the spirit, your spirit is not full of that same word, that word is falling off you like water off a mm -hmm. duck's back. Mm -hmm. Like water off a duck's back. You hear me? Because it can't settle in the in your being and, and change you. From the, you change from the inside out, not mm -hmm. the outside like people want to do. In. They want their mm -hmm. works to be. Mm -hmm. They want their works, all right, to stand up for them. But that's just what comes from. That doesn't initiate anything. That's the end result of what's happened on the inside. All right. Let's go to the mind of the spirit. Romans 8, 27. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind. Here's that will word that Sister Leslie had brought up earlier. So he searches your heart. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to come back to that word. Knows what is in the mind. Okay. Desire, will of the spirit. Now listen to this. He searches where? In your natural heart? In your, this pump in your, in your chest? No. Your heart is your spirit. He looks in your spirit. You know the saying, he, uh, he knows my heart. Hallelujah. He knows my heart. When the word says he knows my heart, they're not, sometimes, I won't say they, some people do have a great understanding. But what I want all of us to have one understanding is he's talking about he knows your heart whether it's in tune to him or not, mm -hmm. whether it's seeking him. Maybe you don't have a lot, but you seeking him with all you, you know. He knows that too. Yeah. He knows that we're not all there. He knows how far we've come. He knows where we are there. Mm -hmm. You don't even know. Because we walk by faith. And that's the truth, and not by sight. The Father knows what level you're on as far as what his desires are for you. He knows where you're at. You can't stand up and say, well, I don't feel like I'm really all that, and I don't know if you know he's really happy with me, or maybe I should be doing something more. It's like I'm not doing enough. You know how that is? That's not the, the spirit. And y'all have uh, they got the fellowship going on, see. And your your the carnal nature ain't invited to the party, <laughs> okay? But it'll know that you were at the party 
Because when you come out the choir, you got some information to tell him to check it. You got some knowledge. You got some understanding, you see. That can be what? Deciphered by the mind at that point. Because your spirit has to control your mind. And it is your mind that controls your body. Is that right? Okay. Romans 12, thank you, darling. Uh, 12, 2. And he, and be not conformed to this world. Well, why do you think he's telling you that? Just, just to say not to do it? Because it has to do with your spirit. If you're conformed to this, this world, you're not aligning your spirit with the, the Holy Spirit, the set apart spirit. You're not aligned. Because you two are not agreeing. Because this world is an enemy of Yah. And you over there fraternizing, playing in his backyard. You understand? So the world pollutes our spirit. Huh? The world pollutes our spirit. Exactly. Exactly. He said you are peculiar people. You would be if you're not peculiar if you're hanging out with the world. You just like the rest of them. You're peculiar because you don't want to hang out with the world. Did you won't? And they can't. And they can't solicit you to do so. So to them, you are weird. Something was wrong with that person. <laughs> we got all, this, got all this going on over here and they don't want a part of it. They done lost their minds. That's what they think because the colonel can't pick up the spirit. They don't know what you got over here to join. And y'all ain't going to tell them either. See? They call you a nerd. They call you a oh, that Nerd ain't the word for it. We got some nerds that they're out there in the flesh too. But... <laughs> We can be a spiritual nerd, I guess. I guess you could. Yeah, I guess you could twist it that way. <laughs> All right, that's so good. I got you. I got you, drip. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so he's saying, don't be conformed to this world, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of your heart or your spirit. And see the. And we were always taught that this is with your your local mind. Your mind. You know how you think. Well, yes, that's part of it. But behind what you think is your spirit that motivates every thought and, and word that comes into your brain and you hear has to be influenced by something that's already there. Did you know that? Well, what's there? Excellent. What's there? See? How do you decipher? How do you, what happens when something comes into your mind? Okay, you want to sit down and start writing figures and words and all that. But there's something behind there. That spirit person who is either strong, weak, or dead. Or just on the way. I haven't been redeemed yet. But regardless, there's no communication. So what you do is you go on carnal thought to feed to feed the beast. Something's got to be done, so we're going to do it. We're going to get this done. How many times you hear it? We're going to get this done. We're going after this. We're going to settle this. Yeah, we're going to go find out and take care of this. <laughs> but what motivates that thought? What mo where does it come from? Well, because this was presented. Yeah, but there's so much had been going on in your spirit before that particular thing came up for you to deal with. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have some time to let that soak in. We're going to get some more of that. So he goes on to say, but, but, but be transformed by the renew, 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 mm -hmm. renewing. A renewing. You know what uh, Yas showed me one day? He said, when, when you get a house remodeled, it, it, you, you can still kind of tell what the old, that the old was there. You know, when you remodel your home, it looks lovely, but you can kind of still see the shell of what used to be there. Kind of, so if somebody passed by, they might not recognize it first, but they stop and look at it and say, yeah, that is the house. They had it remodeled, but they would recognize it after a minute. Y'all explain to me what renewing, remodeling means to him. It means that he tears it down and starts over again. <laughs> it don't mean it like we do it. 
when, when we remodel or reconstruct something that's already there, you can still tell the remnant of it is still sitting there. But when he gets through, he don't walk up and say, okay, I'm going to remodel Myra. I'll re remodel uh, Renee. When he gets through remodeling, she, don't, she ain't Renee no more. Amen. She turns into the spirit of Yahushua. She is transformed Transform. into his image. So she don't look spirit, spirit, spiritually like she used to. You look in her eyes, there's somebody else home now. <laughs> the old nature, she done moved out. And the new one, she done come in and sit down. And they just got a good conversation going. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go on. So that you may be, that you may prove, and that prove just means discern. I didn't get that from, I just read and y'all tell me what it means. I didn't, I didn't look at nobody's concordance. It may be in there, it may not, don't, I don't really care. I just sit and read and listen to him. He said, it means discern. So you see that it says, that you may discern what is the good mm -hmm. and acceptable and perfect will, mm -hmm. what he wants. He what he likes, mm -hmm. what he's looking for. Yeah. You will be able to know that. So you can stop sitting there crying. I don't know. What does he want? Oh. Am I doing it now? You'll say, no, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Doing what I, I'm washing dishes, but I'm what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I got my mind on you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I may be ironing the shirt. Hey. Mm -hmm. See the car of mine, well, you should be out there with a picket sign and uh, some of these places that are boarding. You should be out there telling you know, the homosexual they shouldn't be homosexual no more. Uh, you should be over there telling, yeah, that's what the carnal nature wants to do, mm -hmm. which is actually opposite mm -hmm. of what y'all wants. Mm -hmm. He ain't told you to go through all doing all that. <laughs> he ain't tell you to run over there to the pygmies. Mm -hmm. He ain't told you that. But that's what the, the carnal mind, it wants to do something, to show something. Amen. That's, it, it, it's, it's chaos is what it is. It's not y'all at all. If you can get yourself in, hey, don't point at nobody else. Mm -hmm. I'm against that. Y'all's against it. He never did that when he walked this earth. He never mm -hmm. looked over the fence and started blaming people and looking at folks and saying what they shouldn't be. In fact, they called him a wine bibber because he sit there and talk and laugh with them, you know, mm -hmm. trying to understand uh, them so not understand them so so they can understand him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's just old drunk because every time I see him, he's over there sitting there with them sinners having a glass of wine with them. He wasn't drunk. Mm -hmm. He wasn't. He he would never be drunk. But the point is, you need to be drunk in the spirit. That's your problem. And leave folks alone. Y'all created all life. Whether they're going according to his will or not, you need to respect it. Hallelujah. He told you that. Mm -hmm. I created everything. I created life itself. So they don't live the lifestyle you think. Leave that to y'all. That's none of your Hallelujah. business. You make sure you live in what he said to do. Hallelujah. Make sure your address is correct. Because a lot of folks blame Ooh, it and know. like to pick on homosexuals and lesbians because they got them tendencies themselves. Oh, that's that's you the problem. Mm -hmm. The folks, I, I, the folks ain't bothering you. When are they gonna teach my children? Teach your own children then. Mm -hmm. But they gonna come. I, they ain't raping your kids no more than them heterosexuals out there raping them. They can't keep up with them raping folks. You don't know what you're talking about. It's spiritual, but you can't see it because your mind is blind. Why your mind isn't behind your mind is your spirit. And it's been influenced by the wrong things. So you got your mind on the wrong issues. He didn't make you moral president of the world. He didn't make you that. Emperor, empress, and emperor self-righteousness. Here they come. Oh, we <laughs> king and queen of the world, mm -hmm. they can judge you at the drop of a hat. 
when it all boils down to it, they got to be judged to it. And there, Yah's judgment is much more severe. Yes. Yes. Leave yes. Yah to his business. Amen. You tend to his business and you tend to you. you. It's a miserable soul that got nothing else to do but sit up and just find blame in anything and everybody. Right. It ain't bothering you. I don't want to go to the restaurant and see me sitting there looking like a woman. Alpha. Well, you got a problem. You don't bother me. You can look like whatever you want. Look like a giraffe and see want to. Go down the street to the other restaurant. I don't care. If it bothers me that much, I just get up and politely leave. I, I don't know what is this trying to make a grandstand about something you don't agree with. Guess what? You a whole lot of folks that nod to you don't like you at all. It's living a lie. That's what I'm trying to get you. Stop, stop living lies. Tell the truth and walk in truth. Hallelujah. And let Yah take walk care of Yah's creation. That's all. I'm going to leave that alone. Long, long enough. But that's because I've been affected by the spirit. And I know that those things he did not tell us to do. He did not tell us to do. All right. Let's move on. So that's how we know by the spirit what is good, acceptable, and perfect. And what you understand is acceptable. Those are things you do. Things that are not acceptable, you don't do them. Isn't that something? Amen. All right. Spirit Amen. influences thought. Listen to this. And that's what I was telling you. What's behind that, that decision you made? Spirit influences thought. Now I'm going to stop right there and ask if someone to answer this. Had you thought of that? That your spirit influences what you think? Mm -hmm. Or did you just feel that experiences in life? affect you and in your in your mind and then that's how you respond to life in, in life no okay well you don't have to no honey you can't let somebody else speak now <laughs> uh somebody can come on and tell me did you understand that if if your spirit is not attuned to yah who you still have a spirit and it's still uh -huh. influencing your mind uh -huh. right yes i think that <laughs> yes well, I think that what happens is you have a hesitation mm -hmm. that will occur mm -hmm. because the law is written and you have it in you. And then you, it's very slight. You barely notice it. Then the carnal may take over and decide to listen or not to listen. Mm -hmm. And I think it also varies from person to person from nationality to nationality as we are descended from who we're descended from since everybody is, there are subhumans and then humans. Mm -hmm. Good. But they're just, open, yeah. If they wanna come to it, it's open for them. All right. Let me just say this about the carnal. The carnal cannot decide for us what to listen to and what not to listen to if the spirit is in, in, in tune to them to the holy spirit but why uh because yes we hear it with our mind we hear it okay we can hear it but you just said i heard it and like you say that hesitation as we send it it's it's not we send it it just automatically goes to the top the top is the spirit the most powerful thing sitting in you is your spirit mm -hmm. hopefully it is it and if is. it's in your eyes it's the most powerful the spirit, depending on how it's been treated and mo motivated and influenced by the Holy Spirit, and if it's not the Holy Spirit, and I'm just talking to the elect now, not the world. I'm not trying to give a psychoanalysis here. <laughs> All right. But what I'm trying to say to you is that if you're in Yah, you have received the spirit, you have nurtured that spirit, you have done uh, your due diligence to study, to show yourself approved. You have sought him in prayer. You, you loving, giving him worship and loving on him without refrain, without, without any drawbacks. You just love him as an innocent child would love their parent. He begins to communicate because he's checked you out. You, your heart towards him is pure. Doesn't mean you know a whole lot. Sometimes you don't know much at all. That's not what he looks at. He looks at that panty for him. That 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 maternal nature. He has a maternal nature, you know. He is the many breasted one, the El Shaddai. Oh, yeah. He listens to his children to see where they're at. Sometimes they get distracted. He helps bring you back, you know. 
Okay. This is a good way to put it. He knows when you're influenced by him, and then he gives you more to be influenced wow. by. Gotcha. See? You take a step, you might fall. <laughs> he says, come here to daddy. He mm-hmm. picks you up and says, you can walk. And he helps you until your legs get strong enough, and then you can take your steps. You understand? He don't throw you out with the baby with the bath water because you, 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 you fall. But you, you're not going to fall out because he won't let your foot slip. But here's the thing. We have to adjust our knowledge to what is real. He is the real one. And not get bogged down in things that make us righteous, but know that Yah has done so. And so what you're doing in him is a right thing. It's just an innocent thing that you are seeking him with your heart. All that you know, your heart can also mean everything that's about you that you know and understand is towards him. That's a good way to put it. Goes up there. Okay. Seeking him, wanting to know him better. That's what he's looking for. He said, if you ask me for a stone, if you, I mean, if you ask me for what? Uh, 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 some bread will I give you a stone that's what he's trying to tell you I hear what you're asking me for and I'm going to make sure you get that bread and some more so you don't have to worry being left out left back not good enough you know just the fact that you always tell people here you know all you need with Yah is the want to I want to serve you with all my heart and life I have dedicated my life as much I, my whole 100% is in you I don't even know what that looks like, but that's my faith. I'm 100% in y'all. Well, you don't know if you're 100% in y'all. You might be 20%. You might be 5%. You're just talking. No, no, no. I talk faith. And I'm doing his will right now to 100%. Because if I'm not, he'll let me know. I said, well, you talk a little bit much then. Come on back down. (laughs) Yes, who he is. He ain't going to let you make a fool out of yourself. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to finish and open up the mics. All right, so the spirit influences thought, thought uh, of the elect. We're not talking about the world. Is under the influence of the Holy Spirit to be able to discern and to carry out the will of the Father on this earth. Mm-hmm. There you go in one big sentence, all the stuff I just said. Mm-hmm. All right, then we can move on. The heart, the mind, the heart is motivated by what it senses of the Holy Spirit. You have made your spirit now responsive it's responsive Mm -hmm. all right so Mm -hmm. to the to the holy spirit Mm -hmm. it's responsive all right let's move on philippians 2 5 let this mind or heart be in you which was also a messiah what are you saying i know what's the word saying think like him is that hard it's not hard And heart is something that's acted out. Mm-hmm. I, I, this is not a, a brag, because this was many years ago when I was still in Christendom. But I know y'all's hand was on me just like he was on you back in the day. And I remember I led a pastor's appreciation service as a host for the different pastors coming from different places, announcing them and so on and so on. But after it was all said and done, there was a young lady who walked up to me and said, I was watching you, and I felt like if I had a pen and could poke you, JC would come oozing out of you. That's who we are. Well, it may not be the right name, but it was the right spirit. Because mm-hmm. he had overlooked our ignorance. He winked at it. He knew we didn't know. But he knew we were seekers. And he kept his hand on us. You see. And whether you could see it or not, others did. Others recognized that you were special. Just didn't know quite how to put it. Because he didn't start back when you you came into some kind of understanding. (laughs) No, before you guys became... In the womb, he had you in his heart. 
you was not aborted. You didn't, you didn't die in, in, in your infancy. He brought you all the way through all of your ignorant things we did, uh, all the ignorant things because we didn't know better and all the bad things we did because we didn't know better. Your body does not feel fear. Did you know that? Your body cannot feel fear. All right, close that door, please. Uh, cannot feel fear. I need the doors closed so that all that, um, I guess they're looking at somebody out there. Uh, because fear is of the what? Spirit. And it's how you have deci deciphered fear is how your mind's going to react to it. See? How your spirit has been dealing with y'all has a lot to do with how your reaction is going to be in the mind. Mm -hmm. When something is, could be something of danger. There are natural instincts that y'all gives every human to detect danger. If the little morphemes go all, all cross, cross the path and say, oh, danger, danger, danger. Everyone has that. But how you process that fear has to do with the Holy Spirit or lack of. You understand the difference? Okay. All right. So your body don't feel fear, for Yah has not even given us what? If fear is a spirit, you don't have it. Because he didn't give it to you. Well, I had somebody want to protect me. Say, oh, you better take take uh, uh, the area you live out down. You know, they're kind of afraid for me, you know, because you be saying some stuff. I said, I ain't worried about these folks. I don't, I don't have to feel any fear because I know who's with me. He told me not to have any. Hallelujah. To set my face like a flint. Don't move. Amen. Speak my word. If you don't speak them, then, then you're going to have a problem with me. But if you'll speak what I give you, I'm with you. So I don't fear. Fear for what? And if somebody did shoot me or something, y'all forbid. I'm going to be with your child. I went anyway. But where your soul going? <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right. Your body doesn't feel fear, but but fear is because the spirit fears the spirit. For Yah has not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Power. There's what I'm talking about. Power. And, of love. and love is the power house. The more you work with that love yeah. that Yah has given you and, and exemplify it and show yeah. it and, yeah. and nurture it, the stronger you get. Yes. Yeah. Because it's the opposite of hate and debauchery. Mm -hmm. All right. As, and of course, sound Ooh, mind. Yeah. Example, by analyzing the brain, one cannot detect the conscience. This is just an example. You can't see your conscience. But if, you're, if you had an operating table and they opened up the whole head and split it in half and looked at the brain, ain't no thought you're going to see, ain't no conscience you're going to see, ain't no hate, ain't no murder, ain't no love, you're going to see none of that. You're going to see all this matter. That's what you're going to see. All right. You're not going to see your personal uh, characteristics, values, beliefs, likes or dislikes of human nature. You're not going to see any of that because it's spirit. Uh, and you can, and even though there's impulses, you can actually see the impulses going through the brain is taking carrying things. So that's something you can actually see. Okay, so we know that's not spirit, is it? All right, because you can't see it's spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at some of the tablets of the human heart. Let's look at this. Second Corinthians. 3 3, Ezekiel eleven nineteen 19, Ezekiel 36 26, Jeremiah 31 33, Hebrews 8 10. I'm just going to go down. You have them in front of you. Uh, and you show that you are a letter from Messiah delivered by us, written not with ink, mm -hmm. but with what? The Spirit. The Spirit. Hallelujah. Of the living God. On tablets. Hallelujah. Tab tablets of stone, not on tablets of stone, mm -hmm. but on tablets of what? Spirits. Yes. He's talking about your spirit. Mm -hmm. He's writing his laws on your spirit, not your carnal mind. Spirit to spirit. Spirit to spirit. Yes. Spirit, that's why you can't figure it out with your mind. It's 
move on. Almost finished. And I will give them one heart. Say one heart. One heart. One understanding. We ain't all over the place. Don't let nobody fool you. And all these different doctrines and all these different messages. But we are one heart. One mind is what he's saying. One spirit. All right. And a new spirit I will put within who? Us. Those who have come to me as my children and those who want to be attached to me through Yusha, I have given them my spirit and I've put a right spirit in them. Remember, mm -hmm. David, he was asking for the right spirit. Mm -hmm. Yah has given you the right spirit. Mm -hmm. I will remove the heart of stone, the one that could not receive my laws and really implement them because their heart was in it, their spirit was in it. it their spirit wasn't in keeping the laws in the Old Testament. It was religious more than anything else. It was obedience to Yah, but it was in a religious form because it was done through the, the mind that was not set to receive the things of the spirit of God. And that's, that's such an open, uh, that's a subject that you can really take around, I mean, uh, 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 throughout the earth because you got so many people that conduct themselves as if they really do understand y'all and they're doing this, this work and that work. But when you really understand where we're, where we're coming from with the spirit, then you'll start noticing that this is not of God. This is of man. This is of organization. This is of denomination. You know, this is about a general attitude. This ain't got nothing to do with, with the most high. I've had people anger with me because they'll said something. I remember one time I asked a young lady, she, she was in our fellowship and yet she was getting ready to go to a Christian retreat. I couldn't believe it. And I kept saying, well, why would you want to go there and with all the information and knowledge that y'all is pouring into us? Why would you want to go backwards like that? I said, did you ask the Most High, could you go to that retreat? She said, yes, I did. I said, well, what did he say? She said, it's okay. I said, no, he didn't. He didn't say that. Yes, he did. I asked him. He said, it's okay. And that's not the way he talks. Well, how do you think you are? You know what I say? Because he talks to me all the time. And he didn't say that. You don't like it when you talk to him like that. Because, see, it shows that you do talk to him. And he don't say things like, it's okay. That's your mind. <laughs> you understand? You got to understand that. He doesn't talk in familiar blogging dogmatics of this world. He has his own language. Hallelujah. He speaks differently than the world does. You can identify him with it's okay. Or it's okay, guys. He don't talk like that. But you have to talk with him to know. All right. He says, I will remove the heart of stone and give them flesh. Okay, give them a heart of flesh and give them the heart of flesh. Okay, so they can what? Be pliable to understanding what I'm speaking to them. He don't mean flesh, flesh. He means pliable. Okay, not hard, but pliable. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit. I will put it within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh, not a fleshly heart. All right, I'm going to give you a spirit that I can communicate with. That's really what he's saying. Okay, for this is the covenant. Now, this is what the covenant really is, that I will make with the house of who? Yasserel, after those days. Come on declares the most high Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. I will put my law within mm -hmm. them. And I will write it on their hearts, their spirits. Mm -hmm. Your spirit, not memorizing scripture as much as on your spirit. Mm -hmm. And I will be their Yah. This is the one, now you can say you belong to him. 
See, because your spirit is in tune. Your spirit is upright. Not what you think in your head, but what he has done in your spirit by his presence there. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you the heart of flesh, a millable, usable a spirit. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Yasuel. It goes on down to verse uh, uh, number 34. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their young. They will be my people. 10. For this is the covenant that I will make. Now that's what you need to cover. Everybody worry about trying to do everything about the covenant, but this is the new covenant. Your heart of stone have been removed and the heart of flesh, the pliable, the usable, the sincere, the pure has been, has replaced that stony heart. It has be, actually became who you really are. Reality. So I mentioned reality, me and my husband. It is reality. So the covenant that I will make with the house of Yasserel, this was futuristic. This was a prophecy that has come to pass. Yes, yes. After those days, declares the king, and he is the king. I will put my laws into their minds. I want to keep repeating this. Into their hearts, into their spirit. Spirits. And write them on their, in their hearts or their spirits. And I will be their Yah, and they shall be my people. Hallelujah. If it's not there, you're not a peace. Not in your head, in your spirit. The man can put on a good show. All right, let's go to the conclusion of the man. And then I'm going to open up the mics. The first man of the earth was earthy. Mm -hmm. The second man, the king from heaven, because it said L-O-R-D, but y'all mm -hmm. let me know. The king from heaven, as the earth earthy, such they also that are earthy. Mm -hmm. So the second man was king from heaven. The first man was earthy. Mm -hmm. He didn't come from heaven. He was made from the earth. But the second, second Adam, he was what? Heavenly came to earth. Heaven came to earth. Collided with each other. Whammo. <laughs> My husband would say whammo. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> As the earth, earthy, and they also that are earthy. All right, we were born of the earth, but we have a heavenly continence because the Holy Spirit dwells in our spirit. He said, pray this prayer. <laughs> huh? Hello, Thy will be done on earth yes, sir. Yes, sir. as it is yes, in heaven. Yes. Whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound. Yes. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose yes. in heaven. Yes, we got to communicate going on. Hallelujah. That ladder that Jacob oh, saw, yes. we got to yes. communicate. We got messengers going back and we got all kind of telecommunications Ooh. going on. Hallelujah. We got cable that people don't know about. Hallelujah. We in contact. I said we in contact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the most high. Hallelujah. At all times. He said pray continuously without stopping. Hallelujah. Because the ladder is constant. Every thought you got. Every idea you think you got. And he processing it. And he's getting back to you what you should be doing about it. Every time you want to make a decision, it's sitting there going through it. It's going through it, receiving, going through, receiving, going through, receiving all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Well, how do you think he's doing that? All right. So I will put, okay, I'll get that. All right, I'm down in conclusion. Okay. Earthly such as the earthly. As heavenly such they also that are heavenly. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's already parts of you sitting in heaven because of this communication. That's how you're able to sit beside the king. Mm -hmm. We know you're not sitting there physically, but because you're in contact, you're sitting there spiritually. Paul said, I may not be with you physically, but know my spirit is with you. Mm 
And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we born the image of the earthy, we shall also one day bear the image of the heavenly. Hallelujah. But listen to this. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So what's going to inherit? A brand new spirit in a brand new, brand new body. Incorruptible. Hallelujah. Neither does corruption inherit corruption. Letting you know if you got a corrupted mind, you ain't going nowhere. Because that means you got a corrupted spirit. All right, last. First uh, Corinthians 15, 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, but the trumpet shall sound. He's letting you know it's going to sound now. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. I go to prepare a place for you. Come on now. Where I am, you may be also. Come on. It wasn't so, I wouldn't tell you. I go to prayer place. I'm going to my father's prayer place for you. That you, where I am, you're going to be. Come on now. Well, guess what? That wasn't just talking about futuristic. That was talking about here and now. Because he, you're already spiritually there. But one day, your corruptible will be incorrupt. And you will be there in that vein as well. Keep your mind on the prize. Yes, yes. It's worth it all. Hallelujah. And now you can open up the mics and we thank y'all for his one. You can clap your hands. <laughs> you can clap your hands. <laughs> y'all is good. Y'all is good. Oh, I told you this is inexhaustible. We're going to come back in different times to talk Hallelujah. more about it. There's so much we, we have, yeah, but I don't, uh, uh, I want y'all to just continue. I want, oh, that's one thing I want. You can leave the mics open if you want. I want to tell you something that is just a little graph, a graph that I had written up for my own study. And uh, I can send these to you, but I just wanted just a couple of items you might be interested in. Um, uh, the, the John 4, 24, I know I left that out. It said, Yah is spirit. And those who worship him was, what must worship him, not so much in spirit. Mm -hmm. See how their words can, 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 can make a, a difference. So those who worship him must be in spirit of Yah. So mm -hmm. you don't worship him with your spirit if you don't have him in your spirit. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. if you worship him, it's not about anything but what he is directing you to do. You can't just do your own thing. Let him direct like he did today. The spirit uh, in Romans 8, 16 itself bears witness or testifies with our spirit or speaks to our spirits. Another way that, that, that testifies don't tell you all of that. It says that the, the, really what they should be telling you is the spirit communicates with our spirit. Mm -hmm. Y'all told me that one day. I was sitting in my bedroom at another address. And I said, how do I know it's you when you speak? Because I don't know if it's me, you, or the devil. Which one I'm supposed to know, which is what? You know, he told me, he said, I don't speak to your mind. I speak to your spirit. Don't you forget that. If it's something methodically planned out, comes to you in, in stages, that's you. You're thinking. You're processing. Okay. If it's something mm -hmm. negative against the will of the Most High, ask you to jump in. Oh, go ahead and sign up. Quick, quick, quick. If it's in a hurry, that's the, that's the enemy. Okay. You hear me? You got to yes. do it now. It's like them salespeople. Come on, sign on the dot line right now. <laughs> if it's y'all, it comes as one complete thought. You don't have to use that kind of method to get to you. Yeah. If the whole ball of wax comes at once, mm -hmm. you say, whoa! You know that's you could have thought that up in the middle. That's what's mm. problem. All right, listen to this. True sacrifice to Yah is a broken spirit. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. A, a, a broken and chastised okay. or chastened uh, heart, mm -hmm. because that's what brings you to the breaking point. When you've done all you can do to stand, and you can't stand no more, all you can do then is stand and see the salvation of the Most High, because you don't run out of juice. Mm -hmm. Now he can take over. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, uh, then it says, uh, 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 a chasing heart. Yah, you will not despise. You will not do. He said, I won't despise that kind of heart. Mm -hmm. Then it goes on to say in Galatians 5 16, this I say, then walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. 
How are you going to walk in the spirit if you don't have the spirit? It ain't about what all the things you're doing. It's who you know. And it goes, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That 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 side of your uh, uh, being that's carnal. Uh huh. So that means you will not be given to your those desires and appetites. All right, self interest and so on and so forth. We can be very selfish people. All right, spirit consciousness. Listen to this one. Consciousness is a state or quality of awareness or of being aware of an external object or something within oneself, but it does not detect the work of the spirit until the spirit reveals to the conscience that I'm here. The conscience is, uh, is, is a part of, of your mind, but behind the conscience is your spirit. Your spirit is in communication with the Holy Spirit. So it doesn't have preeminence over the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit does influence your conscience. Not your conscience, the Holy Spirit. You got that? What I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Then let, let me finish because I'm getting my, my mouth. Right. I see what you're going. All right. So he goes on to say that in the spirit consciousness, anything that we are aware of at a given moment forms part of our what? Consciousness. Awareness is another good word to help you understand Making conscious experience at once the most familiar, familiar spirit, familiar. See, what you're, you, you're used to or you, you, you're familiar with or understand takes preeminence mm -hmm. even over the spirit if you're not strong in, the, in that area. Mm -hmm. And you'll think that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. well, my experience teaches me that when I see such and such, I do such. But that's not the Holy Spirit. That's your experience. Mm -hmm. All right. But the Holy Spirit is above your experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's why I always tell people when they say, well, my, my childhood was so this, and I was battered, I was beaten, I was raped, I was hit, I was bad. I said, I'm not denying none of that. Some of that I can, I'm familiar with. But I'm going to tell you something. None of that affects me anymore. Because my spirit is different. It's changed. Mm -hmm. All right. I bring up my past. I can see them talk about my past all day long. I don't feel the thing. No. Go on through the Ruach Kakadesh in my, yes. in my spirit. I don't sit here and, look and lick my wounds all the time. But y'all don't know what happened to me. And I'm not saying <laughs> it wasn't bad. I'm just saying you got to get over that because it's something greater. You put your mind on now. You can't keep going back in the back. Well, let's lay on, on the psychiatrist's sofa and tell all of our childhood troubles and and they still, you still get up and full of trouble. In fact, the psych psychiatrist, he got trouble too. But God washes away. Yeah. He's the one who can take away the sting of it. You can have a memory, but no longer does it affect the sting. Yeah. Affect you anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nobody can bring it up in your face. I remember what you used to do. You old nasty slut. You old this. And you just start laughing because you're so different now. And you're looking at them with different eyes. You say, oh, well, I was, girl, I was really something else. But look what God has done. You don't even feel it no more. You're too close to it if you're feeling it. Get out of there. You don't want you to. Get out. All right. Can't nobody make me feel bad about my slut life. I don't care. You can talk about it all you want to. I know what it did. And that's all. That's, that's, that's on the front slot. <laughs> I, I can tell you how to get out of your mess all right, let's get on. All right, let's go on. It's really some good little points that I made for myself. Uh, spirit consciousness and all that. Anything aware at the moment forms part of your conscious, making conscious. Okay. For how can we bring into the orbit of our thought those limitless complexities of life, which we call spirit or life, unless we clothe them in verbal concepts themselves? Well, see, that's how man thinks. Don't ever cover the spiritual with some verbal concept. I, was, I just got that from someone who was trying to explain it. Don't listen to these folks. They don't know what they're talking about. Spirit don't need no concept. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> All right. Let's go on. Spiritual gifts. Pursue love, desire, the spiritual gifts. My husband's going to be bringing that up that you may yeah. prophesy. But yeah. I want you to understand that it's in italicized letters. Mm. So it wasn't there in the original. 
it would have read like this. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. It says, pursue love, desire the spiritual gifts that you may prophesy. Look that up. If you're King James, you'll see it's italicized, which means what next? So let's read it without mm -hmm. the italicized. Pursue love, desire the spiritual that you may prophesy. It's part of your who you are, not so much some, uh, something laid in your hand. You see a gift? Well, a gift might fall out of my hand, might be taken back. You see what I mean? <laughs> if, if this is not what y'all put in here. He put in there, be spiritual, be what? Connected to me. Mm -hmm. And in your connection to me, prophecies flow. Yes. Hallelujah. You can call it a gift if you want to, but that's what's going on. You understand? Mm -hmm. See the difference how it shifts? Yeah. Because now you look, I want to know what gift I got. Father, where's my gift? I'm looking for my gift. Like, <laughs> like the monster. They're <laughs> looking for the monster party, whatever. They'll be looking for the little crackers and things that they, they're, they're uh, what, Passovers and stuff. The little kids mm -hmm. with the, the wrap bread and stuff. Where's the bread? Okay. No. That comes with the territory. Y'all come mm -hmm. fully equipped into you. He uses you according to what he wants to do with your person. Mm -hmm. You ain't less, more, greater. Yah yeah. is in control now. Yes. Oh, I love it when Yah. I'm not in control no more. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All right. This list. I love this. So you look at it again in 1 Corinthians 12.1 about gifts. Let's look at it again. 12.1, 1 Corinthians. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, and you know he's talking to, right? Mm -hmm. He's talking about to our folks who was living the Gentile life. That's it. This wasn't talking about heathens because mm -hmm. he calls brethren. These were Yahudis he's talking to. We won't get into that though. So, but anyway, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb isles. That's what made them Gentiles. So they went whoring after other gods and other mm -hmm. their oppressors' land. Okay, however you were led. So what does it really say? It says, now concerning spiritual brethren. See, as long as it's a gift, it has to be a handout. Well, you got to come and pay your tax. You Oh, you got to come and in so many services. Oh, you got to do the pastor's appreciation uh, donation. Oh, you got to go bake the cakes for the, for the sale. See, because I want a gift. Oh, please listen to me. Because you want a gift from God. But when you have him in your spirit, every gift comes. He doesn't come with partial gifts. Every gift is in him. So that means every gift is in you. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. You must have an awakened spirit to go along with your new awakened knowledge. That's what that's, that's the message pans out. You must have not only an awakened knowledge, you must have an, a, 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 for sure an awakened mm -hmm. spirit that is in tune to the set apart spirit. Or you're none of his. I don't care if you can find your bloodline, your E1, B1, 2, 1, C1, 5, 1, all the rest of them, what type you're talking about. It don't mean, <laughs> it don't mean he's going to take you nowhere with him. No, it's not enough. Get out of that. Oh, I, I, I got the, I got the, you don't know what you got. To be honest with you, he said, all our blood need to be clean. He's going to clean it all. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what you're going to be left oh, with. If, if you don't get yours clean, oh, you ain't going to be none of his <laughs> on the blood side. <laughs> okay? Because it's mixed with some of everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, get out of that. Oh, I'm one of the ones. That ain't nothing changed in your spirit. You just lying to yourself. I'm going to leave you right here. The, you ain't going to hear the ships of a horn blowing. You ain't going to hear the truck blowing. You ain't going to hear oh. nothing. You're going to be sitting right here with all the ones you keep mocking and making fun of all the time, oh. telling what they ain't going. You're yeah. going to be sitting right with him. Ain't going either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So, almost done. Let's look at some of the things. I wanted to go look at music. I just want a couple of items. Just jot these down real quick. What uh, what can affect your spirit besides y'all that you have to be careful of? Well, the thing you should be careful of, what kind of music do you listen to? Now, that don't mean everything with a beat is evil. But you got to hear what's behind that music, not so much the music stuff. You know, well, that rap is, is devil's music. You know, it, most of it probably is. But there is some, some rap that has some good quality to it. 
You have to listen to it and let the Holy Spirit say, oh, yes, okay, that's good. No, cast that away. See. And all right, let's look at music. Music is one of the most powerful gateways to connect to our spiritual nature. That's why we got to be careful what we hear. Do you hear what it says? It connects to your spiritual nature. That's why you got people going all out of control of the music. Are some of them sleazy? Sleazy music? A boating music to things that make you frightened. You, all those things because it's spiritual music is spiritual it affects the spirit yes. all right let's go on so it, it's the gate powerful gateway that connects the spiritual nature music is our divine source. so if your divine source is your spirit where you get communicate from Yahuwah, be careful what you let come in there be aware, okay? The unseen. You can't see what it's doing, but it's doing some damage if it's not a, it's not something that's edifying, okay? Uh, it can be just edifying uh, your husband. Maybe it's a, a love song, you know, that's that's decent. I'm not talking about all this other garbage that they talk about, but just, you know, pleasant thoughts. Or about your mother. Mother, I love you. You've been so good to me. I your daughter. You raised me. I thank you. You know, those aren't the songs I'm talking about. You can sing those songs. Because why? Mm -hmm. it, it's nothing evil or bad or against y'all. Mm -hmm. We said honor your mother, huh? And your husband and your wife. So it's, that's those are fine. I like beautiful. I told you I like Django. But what do I see in Django? Maybe different than what other people see in Django. Mm -hmm. I see the storyline of Yahusha. He's <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. What does it do to your spirit? That's what you're concerned about. Yeah, yeah. All right. The unseen as well as the universe around us and those other divine beings inhabit it. You hear that? Other mm -hmm. divine beings inhabit music. I don't want them. Mm -hmm. Them divine spirits. Huh? I don't want one spirit. Mm -hmm. Listen, music serves a spirit-like function mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. its role in communicating the indescribable. Yes, what you listen to is very mm -hmm. You can be affected by evil spirits by certain music. Mm -hmm. You're letting them come in mm -hmm. to your clean house mm -hmm. and muddy it all up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bring their friends. All right. Mm -hmm. men, men as gifts to the body. Now, there was no italicized when it comes to men being gifts. We were talking about being spiritual a minute ago without mm -hmm. the word gifts. Mm -hmm. Because it's part of the Holy Spirit. Now we're talking about men being gifts. Mm -hmm. It's not italicized now. Uh, to the body of uh, Messiah by Messiah. To his body by himself. Because he is king. And he gave certain gifts. Uh, but it says, to, but to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Messiah's gift. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive, mm -hmm. gave gifts to men. To men. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. <laughs> okay. Now this he ascended. What does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who, who descended is the one who ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some. Don't say to be, take that out, that's italicized, apostles, mm -hmm. prophets, yes, that they say there's no more prophets today. Prophets. But if you wish gave them, that means they would be here today. Here. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. don't let them mm -hmm. fool you. Mm -hmm. All right, pastors, which yes, are nurturing yes. people, they don't mean they have a church and stand mm -hmm. behind a, a bully pulpit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna beat you. 
<laughs> All right. And teachers, let me just read this so I can go. Then you can put your question. I'm coming back. For the equipping of the who? Elect. Not the same. Elect. For the work of the ministry. That's what you're doing now. For the edifying of the body of Messiah. Tell you. We all come into the unity of the faith. That's what we are doing. We don't understand it. Throwing out the garbage and taking the valuables in. Stuff we don't need, we don't need. Things we need, we got to make sure we're bringing them to ourselves. Okay? So a knowledge of so, uh, faith and the knowledge of the son of Yah. To a perfect what? Man and woman. To the measure of the statue of the fullness of Messiah, yes. that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro, carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, mm -hmm. in the cunning craftiness mm -hmm. of deceitful plotting. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, what are evil spirits? Well, so, so I will tell you, Saul so had them. Yes, Saul's yes. servants told him, Look, an evil spirit from Yah is troubling you. Yah will send one. Mm -hmm. All spirits, he is the king of spirits, the creator of all spirits. Mm -hmm. And listen to this. What about portals of demonic in, in, uh, entry and activity? Well, sexual misconduct is, is a portal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, drugs misuse is a portal. Mm -hmm. Alcohol misuse yeah. is a portal. It gives, it gives the entities a way in to your mm -hmm. soul and pretty soon it takes over your mind and then pretty soon you got a dead spirit. Mm -hmm. That's because the long-term effects of alcohol have a tendency to completely rewire the brain. Mm -hmm. So now your spirit says, go. And the brain is rewired. It says, I ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. The spirit says, don't read the pornography. But your brain says, are you kidding? She looking good to me. Mm -hmm. See, pretty soon the spirit starts getting quieter and quieter and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you back to that that rotten spirit you had before. Now listen to this. So, alcohol. I'm gonna tell you where it comes from. Alcohol comes from Arab Arabic al cool al cool a l dash k u h l mm -hmm. al cool, which means Body eating spirit. Mm. That's why they call alcohol spirits. Okay. Listen yeah. to this. Body wow. eating spirit. That's what the word alcohol means. Mm. And he talked about drinking. That's why we're Huh? And gives root. Let me finish. I'm almost done. And gives root origins to the English term of ghoul. Ghoul, you know, ghouls, mm -hmm. goblins, ghoul. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. In the Middle Eastern folklore, a ghoul is an evil demon thought to eat human bodies, mm -hmm. either as stolen corpses or as children. I remember. So, I think that's some of the notes I just had wanted to share. I can, throw, I can put those, uh, give those to you if you like them. But uh, it's open now. Now, honey, you have something to say. Go oh, ahead. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. yeah, has a way. <laughs> then everybody else can say, the word is good and it's alive. This is so exciting to me oh. as an individual. Uh, the years that passed, couldn't even breathe this. Hello, somebody. Hello. We could not even breathe our Ahusha. Uh, we could not talk about Ahusha or uh, even talking about going to service uh, 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 Husha. Today, we have the opportunity to live for him and, and, and preach him and, and, and discuss him. And when I sing those songs, I get a hearing from heaven. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I, I don't sing the song that I want to sing. I want to <laughs> sing the song that heaven wants me to sing. And that's why Hallelujah. I the song that I use when I sing. And hopefully, yeah. everybody will be in on it. One mm -hmm. accord. That's heavy. Have a seat, Mark. Hallelujah. Oh, just hallelujah. hallelujah. All right. Thank hallelujah. you. I'm looking That's for one. Absent. one accord. Hallelujah. All right. Someone else want to say something? Tracy, is that you? No. Who wants to say something? Mm -hmm. Laboring yes. the vineyard. Laboring in the vineyard. That's us. 
Yeah, yeah. She, 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 we're, she having, we're having a good time this week. <laughs> we gleaming the grapes off the corners. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate yes. Yes. Let me just put you. I like to see who's talking. I want to ask you. Woo! There you go. That's okay. Just point it over here at the time. Can they see you? Yeah, they can see you. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. A person takes the word from place to place. Uh-huh. Evangelist just he he doesn't just stay local. He likes to go and travel, see how the travel. Yeah. Almost like a missionary. Oh, that's your, that's your you see a missionary, you see an evangelist. Paul was an evangelist. He was yeah. called a missionary. Mm-hmm. All right. Is that good? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, they like to go to new territory. Not only these evangelists we got around here, they like to go to churches that already established and sit there and preach and get it off and they ain't kind of evangelists. People would go start new works and then we'll come back and, and then, then, you know, check on them and send other people to go check on them. Make sure you're all right. But then, you know, because they didn't have the communicate we have today, you can get the phone now and say, y'all all right? And they say, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Someone else? Are you finished? You all done? Brother Lewis, did you have something you wanted to add to the subject matter? Not, not really, Mother. I think you, uh, yeah, caused you. I probably whipped it. I whipped that horse to death. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's, it's all good. I, I think, uh, and I know what it comes down to is that. Uh, house cleaning, uh, if you will, our thought life, our daily routine. Uh, what do we do with our thoughts? Um, our time, yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. the scripture, uh, examine ourselves as to whether or not we be in the faith. Uh, a host of things. Uh, one of the questions came up was dealing with thoughts. Uh, thoughts come in many forms. Uh, through music, through visual, uh, through alcohol, uh, a lot of the elements you mentioned. But for sure, when you are here, when it says, he that keeps this Yasserel, see, if you're here, he keeps you. You don't keep yourself. Really? If you, get it twi- if, you get it, if you get it twisted, then you will get it wrong. Because he keeps us. This is every thought or every imagination that rises against the knowledge of Yah. Come on. Come on. What happens to those who are his that have his spirit in them? It, they take it captive. They can't do no harm. (laughs) They can't do no harm. Now, when you think about scripture, yeah, when you think about scripture, you think about Yah's promises. Yeah. You think about prophecy as it relates to who? Yasharel. Okay. And you mentioned uh Ezekiel 11, Ezekiel 36, talks about those who are his. And also there was a little bit mentioned about uh, uh, what is, when is it that you, ex- when Yah has you establish a name for yourself. It's not the day of your birth. It's at the day of your epitaph. Come on. So, Hallelujah. Um, I want to give you a hand for that one. You brought that but it's a few more it says meditate the word in psalm says meditate what do you think about in the course of day well if he's in you you don't think about him yes you are and the yes. scripture says in uh in um uh, psalms 19 it says uh it says let the words in my mouth and the meditations of my heart. Exactly. Now we're talking about thought life. Thought life. And when Yah gives you that ear to hear in the spirit, everything around you, not just his word, you know where it belongs. Yep. Immediately. So trust him. Rely on him. 
when you open your mouth, ask him to be him and not you. Because when that day comes, he's not looking for you. He's not looking for you. He's, I know me. Looking for. <laughs> he's looking for himself. That's right. In you. That's right. That's beautiful. Wow, that's you covered. You covered. You, you covered it very well, Mother. And uh, mm -hmm. except the, the review of the scriptures, and ask God to give you more. Uh, ask that's God that's to give us give more. more. And He's got more and more to give. You cannot exhaust Him. Mm -hmm. All right. So oh, don't yeah. feel. Uh, hey, I'm like one of the little begging brats. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you do the same. I, I want one more statement. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to. Sarah, I'd like you to dismiss us in prayer today. Would you mind doing that? After I finish saying this, would you mind? All right, turn your mic on. Un unmute yourself, or I can do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And all that you're getting, you get understanding. My people perish for lack of knowledge. All this time, this knowledge would not have helped us very much because of the state of mind and heart we were in. All right, I want everyone to know that. And I believe the humble souls on the earth that had this knowledge were not privy to try to share it at the time mm -hmm. either because it wasn't our time yet. They experienced what I'm talking about for many years, for thousands. This is nothing new. Don't think that. It's just that as a people that have been, had been cast away from them, we weren't privy with the information that was kept being fed to us to understand these things. And if we did at that point in time, it wouldn't have done us too much good as a nation. But now, this is that time he promised you that he would do this. He promised what you're going, what you're experiencing right now. He would wake us up, that we would call out to him in repentance, and that he would be our Yah again. And we would be his people. Well, when you his people, he communicates. He he designates delegates, mm -hmm. leads, and guides. These, all those things are in now full format. Mm -hmm. Not a religious thing, but spirit. Nothing to prove to anybody. I don't have to wear tassels and bows and cover my toes. Or, <laughs> you know, I just receive of the spirit and love on him. Mm -hmm. You know, loving him in, in, in your as you feel sense that loving him, that spirit, mm -hmm. enjoy it. Everybody don't have it. Hallelujah. Everybody can't love on him. They can say they love him all they want. Yeah. But you actually have an experience in loving him. He has to give it to you. That's why. All right. That's all I want to say. I want to say that. And I think it's another thing, but I'll, I'll let it go. And I can always mm -hmm. send a note. Let somebody go. No, you the one going to let somebody go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 for as many as are led by the spirit of y'all, they are not, they might, they hope that they are presently. That's in this world today, on this earth, on this ground where we're sitting. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. He's a one man man. Hallelujah. One man man. All right. Hallelujah. I'm going to start on him both jangles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go. It's been three and a half hours. Can you believe this? And we were even started before we uh, we had a few moments even before we turned on the recorder. So we've been here four hours. Mm -hmm. So I feel That's like okay. I'm not quite. It was um, well worth it. Oh, uh, I, I believe it was, and I thank yes. you for knowledge. Absolutely. Let's give y'all. Let's give y'all five. All the glory. All the credit. All right, I'm going to ask Sister, beautiful Sister Sarah, with her lovely poetry. She has uh, the spirit is giving her poetry, and so her mind uh, releases it. 
-hmm. and uh, we get to enjoy it. And then we're going to have a brewing of the cigar. All right. At this time, our dear sweet, well, I won't say sweet, she's so fun. <laughs> uh, elect of the Most High, daughter of Zion, uh, Sister Sarah will dismiss us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, y'all. Thank you. We come before you, praising you, sitting in your presence, honoring, being humble, bowing down to our king, because we love you so much, Father. Yes. And we thank you for the information that you gave Mother Mara to give to us so we can meditate, nurture it in our heart, and to be so overjoyed with knowing that you keep inviting us back, Father. You keep us in your thoughts as we keep you in our thoughts. Thank you for letting us know that our mind equals your mind. We're being obedient in your word. We're desiring to reach out and call out to you. And when we listen and stand still, and just wait, Father, with the joy and with the love, living the life that you have provided for us, being gracious, we're so honored. Thank you, Father, yeah, for letting us be here today as a family, uniting our mind and our thoughts and just being your children, just having you love us and us loving you. That's a great honor for me, yeah. So I appreciate and I edify you and glorify your holy name because your word, your word is called our father. Here's the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep us in our peace. Keep us so that we can meet and be with you again and just love on you and love on our family. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Take care of mother and papa, not waiters, so and right. all of our sisters and brothers. At now, before you blow, the before you blow, let me say this. Oh, Amen. Amen. I was dealing with you, uh, my head was bowed. When you want to connect, because you have the power. When she was praying, I wasn't so much zeroed in literally on what she was saying. But what you're doing is you're just letting the flow of what the spirit is, is interpreting to your spirit from what she is saying. So you're like a humble child, and what she's saying is reigning over your spirit. Just let it, don't sit and try to think of every little word. What she said? No, just just be still before y'all. Everything she said, the spirit behind it has now been deposited in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Well, offer its effects. So yes, that's yes, yes. A, one way of exercising that beautiful gift that he's given us, just allowing the spirit to bathe us without trying to put intellect involved. All right. All right. So without any more to say, let us go to the Shafar. Hello, Shafar. <laughs> there you go, brother. <laughs> he said, hello, Shafar. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> No, no, you can't. Don't give up. Take it. Just take a deep breath. Lick your lips. Lick your lips and then blow. Put your lips together, person together with your lips wet and blow. Let your lips be wet. Press it together hard and then blow. Like a yeah. trumpet. Well, that's all right. Well, we got six of them. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Well, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. I guess I have to face Esau. Thank you. 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 Thank